Hey bud, how's it going? If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Take a seat. And if you're coming back, Andy, you could break bread with your enemies. Or you could break their bones. Welcome back to another movie commentary reaction. My name is Sam. Steph. And we're the movie buds. So Enchanted. You saw this uh, a little while ago? Yeah, like a couple months ago. Mm. It's a good movie. It's a nice little subversion of the Disney tropes, you know? Mm. So I somewhat get the idea of goes from cartoon to live action, but that's more or less all I know here. I haven't seen this one. <laughs> See, they're really taking a page out of their own book. Mm. Literally. <gasps> it's a pop-up. <laughs> nice. There lived an evil queen. She lived in fear that her stepson would marry. She would lose her throne forever. Is that sure. Julie Andrews? Uh, yeah, it is. Ah. <laughs> oh, this will be perfect. Thank you. It was such a lovely dream. I love the old school animation. Yeah. But kind of updated. It's super self-aware. And these for the eyes? Yes, that's it. Makes me miss the 2D stuff. Yeah. I mean, I love both styles. You know. Yeah. Oh, me too. I'm not saying one's better than the other. My one true love, my prince. Buckethead. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty accurate. <laughs> yeah. You'll see. Okay. I didn't give him any lips. Does he have to have lips? Yeah, what does he need I mean, those for? They were gonna kiss, right? Yeah. It's kind of a, it's a logistical nightmare otherwise. <laughs> I've been dreaming of a true love's kiss. Prince, I'm hoping comes with... No, you get one or the other. Pick. Now. <laughs> a reason we need lips so much. Oh, shoot your shot, buddy. Go for it. Yeah. <laughs> you try your hardest, turtle boy. Find who you love, true. Yeah, that's how you discover love. You gotta kiss yeah. the person first, yeah. and then you find exactly. out. Exactly. Yeah. See, I can't see this scene without thinking of that bit from Shrek, where she just kills the bird by accident <laughs> with her voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go with the pea lips. Oh yeah, the worm. Perfect. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, nice that and does it. Fuzzy. Well, I'm glad the caterpillar, you know, bailed before she decided to try and start practicing. Yeah, he's like, whoa, whoa I did not consent to this. <laughs> <laughs> Look out below! Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, this is 100% James Marsden's best role. Right, okay. Your 10th troll this month! Exciting. Are you trying to get eaten? This guy, all he has to do is open his mouth. Oh, that's okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, he's into it. Sure. <laughs> but my heart longs to be joined in song. I mean, what's better than having a... Small fat man crawl across your face. <laughs> <laughs> We're not here to kink shame, okay? <laughs> I've been dreaming of a true love's kiss. Um, Prince, I'm hoping. Do you hear that, Nathaniel? Me? Nothing at all, your highness. Sweet <laughs> voice! The other part of true love. Yeah. You hear a voice. Yeah. This sounds amazing. Then you kiss the voice, the face that has the voice. <laughs> Trying to keep it from ever meeting a girl. Oh, the oh, no, the queen. No, she's not going to lie there. Kiss the voice. No, you just kiss the voice. <laughs> the alternate of uh, kiss the girl. Kiss. Shut up, troll. Yeah. No one wants bass in this Don't song. Don't feed the trolls. <laughs> loves kiss. Let the troll go to sabotage him. That maiden is mine. Do, do you both want the same thing from the maiden? See, that's what I thought at first, but no. So the troll wants to eat her? Yes. And the prince also wants to eat her? I mean... So same thing? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I eat you now. Die! I mean, lips will be involved. That's all I'm saying on that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they both want to use their lips. Oh, yeah, See, yeah. See, it's the same don't thing. Wanna, don't want to eat face. <laughs> <laughs> I am here! <laughs> oh yeah, that changes everything. She's no longer hanging off the edge of this branch yeah, nah. now. She's good now. She's good. She's sorted. <laughs> uh oh. Wait, how does she make all the difference? She's surprisingly heavy. Okay, damn. She's um she's been doing some weights. Yeah, sure. Nah, she's been packing in the muscles. <laughs> it's you. And you are? Giselle. We shall be married in the morning. Okay, why not? I do appreciate them kind of like deconstructing mm. that whole thing. Mm. I, was like, I was like, oh my God, love at first sight. And you know, oh, you'll just know. And it's like, that's not how it really works. To be fair, <laughs> there are some people who feel that way and stay together for the rest of their oh, lives. Oh, good for them. Good for them. Good for them. We're not talking about those people. Yeah, I know. Yes. So this is the little forest rat. Thinks she can steal my throne. Yes. Precisely. <laughs> Yeah, see, we needed to watch Maleficent to get that reference. Mm. I mean, you're afraid your stepson's gonna take your throne? Marry your stepson. Ooh. It's weird and gross, but you're an evil queen. What do you care? 
Oh, right, of course. They brought right. toilet paper because they shat all over that carriage. <laughs> <laughs> that makes perfect sense. You have a bunch of fucking wild animals in there. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Granny has a wedding gift for you. Hey, she's busy. Wishing well, dear. Oh, I appreciate that she was making a solid effort to get away from her. Yeah. <laughs> and make your wish. That's it. Lean in close. So why is the witch in the castle? Is she like part of the royal subjects? Mr. Evil Queen. <laughs> that was my second guess. Yeah, yeah. Where did you send her? For a manicure. <laughs> Where there are no happily ever afters. Hey, that's not entirely true. <laughs> For like 0.1% <laughs> of the population. Oh, what, what is this? It just kills her, imagine that. <laughs> just burns her up and she dies. The tiny little fairy piranha. Yeah, for real. It would have been so much more practical for her to have just killed her there. Just actually pushed her down a well. Mm. Yo, made it to the real world. Yeah. Now, I gotta say, I do love how even just like the physicality, yeah. they really do all the little movements that you do in a cartoon, which don't really work in a live action setting. So it looks weird. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's the point. Yeah. No one would do this in real life. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is an interesting little, little trick. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up out the sewer. Holy shit, it's the Ninja Turtles, guys. <laughs> Oh, I guess you're lucky that for some reason there's no car driving <laughs> over this street. It, is this it, fucking this New is, York? This is, yeah, this is Times Square, so a uh, bit of a hard sell for me, but, you know, we'll let it happen. Oh, there's the car. Yeah, there it is. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when we think about it, she's like from a medieval kind of setting, mm. so this is kind of a time travel movie as well. Oh, yeah. To be fair, though, they did have roads, yeah. so she should understand that much. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What the fuck? How did you get under that? Grumpy! <laughs> Are you for real? Uh, I mean, a little grumpy, but you did put him under your dress. He gets the reference, though. <laughs> and he is not happy. <laughs> He's like, I am now, you yeah. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty accurate though, you know, living in a pretty dense city ourselves. It's like, yeah, it's like that in people Sydney. would just be like, yeah, whatever. Okay, cool. Mm. You're having a moment. Yeah. But uh, I, I need to get somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Old man. Oh. Oh yeah, this guy. May I sit with you? Oh. Sure. He's like fucking, <laughs> he's afraid of her. Yeah, he's like, oh God, yeah. please don't hurt me. If somebody could show me just a smile, I'm sure that would lift my spirit. Oh. Lovely smile. Oh! <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> nice. That makes sense. Hey, he saw a payday and he took it. Yeah. I'm not a very nice old man! Welcome to the big city. Yeah. No way <laughs> you're getting him. A baseball card? They're valuable. That's what this gets down to is a baseball card. Yeah. You never loved Hank like I did. <laughs> you never loved me like you love Hank. Jesus. I mean, that's probably a good reason to get divorced then. Mm. <laughs> what would you do if you couldn't blame everything on? Nine o'clock. a long, happy life. Nine sounds Let good. Me think Great. About okay. It. Yeah. <laughs> They've got lives. They've got things to do outside of work. <laughs> yeah. You still want to get engaged? Oh, those people got married on a crazy whim. It's not like that with Nancy and I. Yeah. This one's purely financial. Yeah. <laughs> no, we've taken the time to understand each other's strengths and weaknesses. Have you told your daughter yet? I'm going to tonight. Yeah. Is this supposed to be the other side of the argument? Mm -hmm. News like this, I hope you got her a Shetland pony. Something much better than that. A book? Oh, come on. Don't give me that look. I loved getting books as a kid. <laughs> I always felt weird when those bits in movies were like, ew, a book. And I was I like, mm. <laughs> Hey, buds. I hope you're doing well. And I hope you're enjoying this compilation. I just wanted to let you know that Maria and I have been posting our own movie commentary and reaction videos on our channel, which I'm going to be leaving links for in, in a card and top description. Wait top description yes <laughs> in the description and top pins and all that stuff so if you want to check out any videos that we've done we just posted freaky friday and we've got more on the way you know where to find us madam curie is a remarkable woman who dedicated her life until she died oh radiation poisoning fun it's nancy i'm gonna ask her to marry me come on it's gonna be great I promise. It's not like she's gonna try and be your mother. Yeah, who would want that? Stepmother. Yeah, I know, right? What a bitch. <laughs> and she's gonna take you to school tomorrow. Just you and her for some grown-up girl bonding time. I appreciate that they brought that up. That she's not there to replace the mum, you know? Sure. That's not to say that you can't create an emotional connection, but it's just you're not the same person that they lost and trying to, like, become 
the just replacement for that is kind of insensitive to the memory. You can yeah do both at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Not everyone feels the same. Yeah, no, I know. I mean, know. like I, I get that there are kids out there who have these kind of thought processes, but I was always happy to see my mom dating. Yeah. Yeah. That's where you belong. Yeah. That really is where dreams come true. A casino. <laughs> Giselle from Andalasia. In that dress, too. Oh. Hold up. Is this a billboard? Yes. Oh, no. Princess on the castle billboard. It's a mannequin. <laughs> Mate. <laughs> you ever seen a mannequin, dude? Do you know Edward? Stay here. <laughs> you oh. oh, no. Yeah, trust. You're kidding. <laughs> Of course. How else was this interaction gonna go? What the fuck? Naturally, with Giselle falling off shit again. Yeah. Well, hey, she's been looking to fall into a nice man's arms. Yeah. She, she was, yeah. What were you doing up there? I was looking for some help. Nobody's been very nice to me. Yeah. Welcome to New York. Yeah. Thank you. It's <laughs> the first yeah. welcome she's had. Ooh. You need me to call somebody for you? Well, I don't think they'd hear you from here. They might. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that he cares enough, you know? Mm. He's not being like fucking a superhero or anything, but no. it's it's just nice that he wasn't like, yeah, okay, now now piss off. <laughs> yeah. Until I fell off of the castle and now here I am. Is this a big habit of yours, falling off stuff? Yes. Yeah. Usually someone catches me. Well, what do you mean usually? He did as well. Yeah. There's not been a single time. <laughs> I'm certain that Edward is already searching for me. Two of us can share in true love's kiss. It's the most powerful thing in the world. I wonder what's going through his head right now, like... That this woman is very unwell. Is it, well, is it crack? <laughs> PCP? I'm bringing a junkie into my home! <laughs> in front of my kids! Now if I could only find a place to rest my head for the night... All I can really do is let you in for a minute. <laughs> Yo, are you serious? Does it have like a frame? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, it's got so that, it's that one thing of on the okay. inside. Yeah. No, nah, she's just got that absolute dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's uh, that's what's blocking it. Well, and <laughs> there the goes frame. the frame. Yeah. Okay. It's probably better off. Couldn't you sleep here, Daddy? Oh, uh, no. Uh, he wants to send her to wherever oh, she yeah, needs anywhere. to go. <laughs> anywhere else but here. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Are you really a princess? Not yet. I will be. Soon. Are you... Yeah, it's no, just they didn't say fall asleep on the couch. Making herself at home. They do things very differently where she's from. Yeah. She's really sleepy. Oh no. <laughs> she <actually laughs> wants her to stay. Just because she has on a funny dress doesn't mean she's a princess. Yes, it does. Oh, she said she wasn't though. Yeah. She's a seriously confused woman. So we're not gonna let her stay? No. <laughs> I appreciate that it's a ridiculous scenario, but the actions of the characters are still believable because of the situation they've created? Yeah, yeah, sure. Starts feeling a little bit shitty about it. Actually, you know, one thing I will say about that book, mm. it's not necessarily a bad gift, but I feel what constitutes a good gift is, do they want it? Oh yeah. You can't do that. Oh, you'll appreciate this when you're older. It's like, it's not for when you're older, it's for mm. now. <laughs> oh, oh God, brilliant. Silence! Fucking heroic, dude. Shooting into the entrance. <laughs> that was a perfect entrance. Yeah. Are you in league with the wicked old hag, Artie? Um. Oh. Is this man party to this evil plot, Chipmunk? Oh no, he can't speak now. No. That's unfortunate. I love that I was like, that's where we draw the line for the realism. Just Chipmunk can be sentient and have human levels of intelligence, but talking, that's crazy, man. I think he's technically still talking. Yeah. You just can't hear him properly. True, true. Tiny little vocal cords. Yeah. See? Yeah. I seek a beautiful girl. The answer to my love's duet. I'd like to find one of them too, you know? <laughs> <laughs> then keep a wary eye out, Artie. Artie's, you know, he's looking. He's ready to commit. You know? Fucking Pip is coming along. Yeah. Did you see that chipmunk? Yes. Yeah, I like that people notice that. Yeah. That's fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> so you didn't bother her from her sleep? Nah. You can always just get her a call the next day. Mm. You don't have to oh. send her straight back out into the pouring rain. What happened here? A single parent who's very, very busy. It wasn't this messy before. Yeah, I know, right? Be before, <laughs> though. Oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> but guess who answers? Yeah, the rats. <laughs> oh, rats and pigeons. Oh, no. Oh. Hello. Oh. Wow, you really filled up his house with animals, huh? Yeah. It's always nice to make new friends. 
Let's tidy things up. <laughs> she tries so hard to not be judgmental. <laughs> kind of mostly managed it. Yeah. Yeah. At least she's recognizing her own innate biases and trying to address them. <laughs> mm. And then, you know, using them for free labor. Yeah. Tough as you scrub a stubborn. Oh, God, yeah. And if there's one thing America oh. loves, it's free labor. Yeah, I love this scene so much. Yeah. And scrubbing <laughs> up the toilet. <laughs> the toothbrushes. Oh, no. no. <laughs> oh, God. To hum a of happy course. working song. <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> Jesus. So friends, even though you're vermin. All this shit's not actually clean. You need to clean the animals first. Yeah. <laughs> Sing along. This kid must be so fucking confused. Yeah. This is a nightmare to walk into. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> sure. Come, you have to come see. What yeah. is it? There's a whole bunch of animals yeah. in the lounge room. There's an infestation, Dad. Yeah. Please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's like, no, 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 oh, out, 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 now. Why with your hands? Come in. Good morning, Robert. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, pay attention to the fact that the animals are doing her bidding. Yeah. And then get afraid. Where does the water come from? Pipes. Where do the pipes get it? From uh, wherever the pipes get it. Hey, he doesn't understand plumbing. He's not Mario. Hey, girlfriend. Hey, is that Adina Menzel? Yes. Oh, what's up? Really neat in here. Did you guys get a maid? Not exactly. She's like, why does it smell like rat shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Jesus. Of course. This part I wasn't that fond of. Yeah. The whole like, oh my God, what a misunderstanding. Mm. This is nothing. Oh, this is nothing. Uh, she was lost. I was just trying to help her. Finding the shower? Oh, the shower. Oh, yes. Yeah, you oh, really should get in the shower. Thank you very much. Okay, business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I never stay the night. Morgan's here and you have to maintain some boundaries. I didn't realize you were worried about crowd control. Yeah, but like... What about taking Morgan to school, you know? So you can have some grown-up girl bonding time? Yes. Goodbye! No! <laughs> <laughs> like, I get how it looks, but I don't know. <laughs> no, I mean, I think that's a kind of fair response, dude. There's a semi-naked woman in his house. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That it's, he uh... didn't tell her about ahead of time. Yeah, it would sound like bullshit. Yeah, like, if you told her ahead of time, maybe. Especially if you've had bad experiences like that in the past. Yeah. Hello? Okay, you know what? You gotta go. I'll get you to a bus. I can't get involved after that. You already uh, involved. You are waist deep in this now. Hold up. Where did you- I made it. What, what do you mean you made it? <laughs> she oh, just cut it out of the no. fucking cannons. You are unhappy. I am so sorry. Yes. I'm angry. Angry? She's like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. Yes, it's an unpleasant emotion. Oh, I have heard of it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just getting ready to take a very serious step forward. A proposal. Oh! Well, now she's got it in her mind that you and I kissed. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's yeah, the thing we'll, that you guys we'll did. We'll call it that. You should sing to her. Sing to her. <laughs> what if he can't sing, though? You know what? In her world, everyone, everyone can, can sing. sing. Yeah. yeah. It's like you escaped from a Hallmark card or something. Yeah. Pretty close. Is that a bad thing? Well, no. Um, it's just weird. Yeah, not necessarily. School. We're late. We gotta run. Oh. You wanna put on shoes or? No, he just left. He left his kid there <laughs> He's too. running to school. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't she just love to cast me aside like like so much royal you, rubbish? You cast her out. Yeah, I know. Like I said, you could have just killed her. Yeah. Do wish there was someone who cared enough to go after him. This dude's like, I'll find him. Don't worry. Oh yes. <laughs> strong. The simp is strong with this one. I do anything for him. Oh God. Yeah. I will stop him. Very strong. What the hell? Oh. At least you went butt first. Yeah. Took the impact. Yeah. Get him out of there. Let's go. It's <laughs> <laughs> such a weird way to come out of a battle. The gravity shift is tricky. All right. <laughs> yeah. Looking for a beautiful girl too. I'm looking for a prince, actually. Right. They're like, okay, yeah, no sure. judgment. Whatever, man. Oh, what? He's still heel. <laughs> <laughs> He's riding a bus. Yeah. Fucking street surfing. Oh, no. Oh, that's rude. Giselle, my love. I get that he's unaware, but... Yeah, surely you could see the people inside. The steel beast is dead. Oh, right. He thought, uh -huh. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Nobody stabs my bus. You get down here right now. He thought he was helping. Come here, mess up my route. I'll take uh, you apart. You know there's a chipmunk on your head, she right? She not. Right. Oh, there you go. Okay. She was totally in her right to be angry, right? Yeah, yeah. In fact, I applaud her for doing so. Yeah. Do yeah. nearly impaled an old woman. <laughs> Please don't tell me Mrs. Banks is already here. Yeah, along with Mr. Banks and his lawyer. See this girl over here? Yeah. Who is she? I have no idea. Take her to the crazy bin. Yeah. We'll find out where she's from and get her there. I have a critically important yeah, meeting. Right. Sam well, is going to get you home. fish poo in there. <laughs> 
Oh. Why did um, you drink the fish? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one noticed the cartoon. Hey, they weren't the... looking. Okay. <laughs> that checks out. Yeah. You're trying to communicate through the water? Yeah. And that's the water is. you chose? Have you found her yet? I'm afraid I haven't, my lady. We can't risk my stepson bringing the girl back. I intend to make absolutely certain of it. You could have made certain earlier yeah. by killing I her. Right. Poison apples, my lady. There's ever going to be a happily ever after for us. No one home, my lady. I love this actor. To drag her down troubled sleep. Again, with the sleep. <laughs> will be gone. Oh, wait, no, that's right. Like, by midnight, she'll die. <laughs> Seriously, though, you, you could just kill her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He does still speak. Yeah, it's like a little tiny. bit. It's just tiny and he can't enunciate properly without, like, you know, the right equipment in the mouth. <laughs> no, I don't think it's the enunciation. I think his sounds are just so small you can't actually understand them. Oh, fair. Don't listen to that insane little... Maybe we should put him down for his own good. Um... But, sire, no, he's delirious. He's to... What the fuck? Take the butter knife away from the chipmunk's neck, dude. Edward is just so unbothered by his friend being, like, threatened. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nathaniel's glad to have me near. I mean, sort of. No, he is. I mean... Um... I guess no one's drinking that now. Just ruin that drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. That was pretty clear. Problem is, he's an idiot. Yeah, he does look pretty stupid. You feel you die without me here? <laughs> yes, that's exactly it. Yeah, I mean, he's not wrong. He would. I really think that went well. So I missed the fact that they were divorce lawyers. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's why they were fighting. Yeah. I can't even find this place she comes from. Indonesia. Yeah, whatever. I've called every travel agent. Well, it can't be a state. We're like a state of mind. <laughs> state of mind. Feeling <laughs> <laughs> of contentment. I mean, what is that all about? It's exactly what she said. The man who holds your heart is a lucky fellow indeed. Excuse me? Are you him? I mean, just look at the way her eyes sparkle. Huh. It's not like that, all right? <laughs> I don't understand. They're getting a divorce? You don't know what that is. Yeah. Separating? Yeah. Yeah, they're splitting apart. Oh, no. What are you doing? So sad. What kind of an operation are you running Baby, here? please. If you guys are trying to manipulate us. Always. Yes. They're lawyers. Yeah, exactly. That's their job. What the fuck? If you guys are trying to meet yeah. her. <laughs> uh, a friend. No, you know, she's an acquaintance, actually. Robert. This dude doesn't care who she is. Yeah, exactly. Carl, it's gonna be fine. What is wrong with you? Okay, see, this is the part where it's like, they 100% would have just dropped her off at a hospital. Of course they're in pain. They're separated forever. What sort of awful place is this? It's reality. That happens. Mm. I get why she doesn't know that, but it's like, yeah, there's plenty of good reasons to separate from someone. Yeah, well, I mean, she comes from a reality where people live happily ever after. Yeah. I wonder if we might cover more ground separately. You by yourself and me with it. What do you suppose I should look? Uh, anywhere. Yeah. In that tree, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um... Look, sir! Huh. Oh, Giselle! Run to her, sir! That was very lucky. Yeah. Hunt her down, dude. Yeah. That won't be weird. Yeah, no, it's not gonna scare anybody. No. You've been very nice to me. It's okay, look, Giselle, I can't help you anymore. Okay? Here's some money. So you're gonna leave this crazy person on the street. I mean, that makes sense, but <laughs> goddamn. It checks out. Mm. You've been a very kind friend to me when I had none. I would never want to cause you any trouble, so... Man, she is doing a great job at this. Yeah. I wish you every happiness. Selling the role. Yeah, like, I, I really believe that she's a Disney princess straight out of the animation. Yeah. And I guess that's the part why he can't just, like... Let her go off. She's just so genuine. She's so, <laughs> like, like, innocent and sweet. Yeah. She genuinely just doesn't know what's going on. It's like kicking a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> so a very fun thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> Precisely. He was here. Oh. Giselle, what are you doing? She's asking for help. This is Clara. Uh -huh. She saw Edward. He was on the bus this morning. Oh my god, that's true. He tried to kill me. <laughs> she is she is 100%. She's not wrong. So how long have you two been together? About a day. You mean it feels like a day because you're so in love? No. No, a literal day. You're kidding me, a day. 
Not even. You're gonna marry somebody after a day because you fell in love with them? Yes. Yes. There are, you know, people have had experience, arranged marriages, they just oh, met yeah. them, got married, and it all worked out. Totally happens. Just uh, definitely on the rarer side, at least in our culture. Yeah. yeah. How can you talk about loving some guy you don't even know? I know what's in his heart. How? Yeah. <laughs> this was so yummy. See, see, that's the thing for me. You don't know the person. Yeah. <laughs> you all done? Okay, let me put that out for you. She could have finished the yeah, food. Yeah, no, don't waste food. How long have you known your Nancy? Five years. And you haven't proposed? Five years is kind of a long time. Hello, nice lady. <laughs> <laughs> maybe? Why? Dude, that accent is so bad. He doesn't have to put on the accent? That was unnecessary. Either, like, yeah. Today is free caramel apple day. She doesn't know you, man. Tomorrow is free beef jerky. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. Thank you very much, kind sir. Yeah, escape, dude. Why did you put him there? <laughs> Why is the chipmunk in your pants, Nathaniel, my guy? Nathaniel, I have questions. Like, it's, there's no, it's not a pocket. It's just straight up in your pants. Or he, was. He maybe chewed through the pocket. <laughs> sure, we'll call it that. I have to call it that. You know, most normal people get to know each other before they get married. They date. Date? Yeah, you know, date. Nope. You go someplace special, like a restaurant or a movie, or just hang out and you talk. Yeah, go mm. to a movie to talk. Yeah, that's so it. That's not a great first date idea. What do you talk about? About your interests, your <laughs> likes, your dislikes, your talk. I'm not saying people I, don't do that. I, but I found. Please don't. Yeah, I, I found that it was just, it's kind of awkward. Maybe we should do what you would do. You meet, you have lunch, and you get married. You can totally make the movie first date work. Yeah. But you can't start with the movie. Yeah. See, I've done that. You do where something it's like, else, yeah, first. We met up for lunch, mm. hung out a bit. It's like, exactly. you want to hang out a bit more? Yeah. So see a movie? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but we already talked for several hours. Yeah. No, my experience, I did the movie off the bat. Are you went straight to the movie? It was just awkward, man. It was so awkward. How old did you know them? Uh, not very well, but yeah. I was very young as well. Yeah. <laughs> Forget about happily ever after. It doesn't exist. Yeah, it does. Well, of course it does. Oh, I there feel goes like... the poison apple. Oh, Holy gee. crap. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's right. It was really fucking poisonous. Holy crap. Most marriages are considered a success if they manage not to end, period. Um, no. Um, I don't really see it as a successful marriage if you're fucking miserable. I mean, you might think that because you're a fucking lawyer. Yeah, but I will say happily ever after takes work. Mm. You work towards a happily ever after every day. Absolutely. You know, you put in the effort. Yeah. What about you and Nancy? It's complicated. But it doesn't have to be. Not if she knows how much you really love her. Of course she doesn't. How? What do you mean, how? I mean, do you tell her at least once or twice a week? Yeah. Minimum, dude. How does she know <laughs> she's yours? Hey, Amy has a really nice tone. Yeah. It's really clear. Don't see. It's okay. You know, let's just walk. They did an excellent job casting. Yeah. How does she know that you love her? Hey. He knows the song too? Yeah. <laughs> How do you show her you really, really, truly? It is interesting because it's like, what is the magic like start and, no. and end, you so, know? <laughs> there's no magic. This is just a dude who heard a woman sing something nice. He was like, I can work with this. Take the one you love for granted. It's New York. How do I know? So where it goes from here, though, that I'm like, no, 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 no oh, there yeah. is some kind of bullshit at play here. You keep adding extra people? <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. okay. Well, does he leave a little note on his mind? It's like, oh, Giselle just has this supernatural ability she's not even aware of. Just brings people in. Because this is just in. normal where she's from. <laughs> Send you yellow flowers when the sky is gray. That's, okay, yeah. that's cute, though. <laughs> There's definitely some magic going on here. Yeah. <laughs> that's how you know. You know, if she could basically just control people with her singing, yeah. that's a pretty crazy superpower. Yeah, it's kind of like one of those, thank God you are just that good of a person, you would never use this for evil. A ball? Yeah. That would be fun. That would not be fun. I mean, it could be. You don't know. Yeah. Judgy much? Yeah, I would say that, like, the problem with him is that he withholds too much. Oh, know? yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. They're opposite sides of the yeah, coin, for they're sure. trying to show the two perspectives. Reality. Yeah. <laughs> versus fantasy. Everybody wants to know their true love is true. Come on. <laughs> yeah. What are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> Did he make you dinner? Yeah. Just saying. It's every now and then, it's nice. Nah, I'm fucking around. I've made dinner for all kinds of people I didn't love at all. Yeah, fair. <laughs> I mean, you worked in a restaurant. <laughs> Admittedly, I am a chef, yeah. but still. With the little things he'll do. think after they walked away and how come he's not being magically entranced yeah so you gotta just suspend your disbelief Giselle 
But you know what it is? Moment. <laughs> He's just so skeptical he can't be swayed by yeah. her sick powers. True. I've been dreaming. <laughs> oh, ow. oh no. Works for her. Not for you. Mm. Not for you. You get fucked. <laughs> you know what though? Take these flowers to Nancy. I hope that hurt. You fucking deserved yeah. it, mate. <laughs> what are you crazy? They're birds. They don't know where she lives. Could you see the they birds? Know. Like obeying her will, yeah. man. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah. She's the crazy one. Yeah. That bit where they put the towel around her would have mm. been enough. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. First thing off the bat, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. I'm hallucinating. Ha! Ah, yeah. You like it. See, what makes him immune to all this is that he's an asshole. <laughs> If you don't think about it too much, it's fun and it's cool, but it is also like, wait a minute, what the fuck? There's so many questions raised here. <laughs> I like both angles. Yeah. Either not thinking about it at all and just having fun with it or yeah. thinking about it deeply because- And still having fun with it. Yeah. <laughs> just because we criticize something doesn't mean it's not fun. I know, right? Nancy? No, I'm glad you like it. Oh, are you extra impressed by the doves that dropped them off for you? I know, right? You've fallen on your royal. Um, I know. I don't know why the flowers were enough to make her forget the fact that there was a like naked chick in his house. Hey, <laughs> flowers save everything. <laughs> oh, God, oh God! Oh God! I hope that dude's hair grows back in that spot. Oh, uh, it won't. Where do you find live doves in New York City? It's a long <laughs> story. Super long story. We're going to a ball. Well, you don't have to if you don't want to. Dude, obviously she wants to. It's so romantic. <laughs> Can't wait. I have to say. A little too down to earth for his own good. Yeah. As far as Giselle's concerned. I'm if you say nothing happened, nothing happened. Well, there you go. That's nice. I mean, it's like this is one of the moments where you just kind of have to trust the person. <laughs> yeah. I didn't totally think about it when we first saw her introduced, but Adina Menzel is the perfect casting choice for his girlfriend. Right. You know who she is, right? Uh, no. She is the Disney princess. She's oh. Elsa in, in fucking Frozen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this odd little box controls the magic mirror. Oh, right. He thinks it's like mirror, mirror on the wall, which is weird because don't you think you would see yourself first before it changes? Don't you have any self-respect? Oh yeah, this. I don't need self-respect. Um, yeah, you do. Need your lips against mine, buddy. Go back, go back. You know she'll <laughs> leave you though, and you won't have those lips if you don't have self-respect. And it doesn't even like himself. Yeah, that's fair. You know what? I'm invested in this TV show. Yeah, I know, right? He's like, oh god, it's my life. Yeah. I will say, it's not like it's impossible to love other people if you don't love yourself. It just makes it very difficult and can bring up a lot of problems. <laughs> well, it's not just that it's difficult for you. It's difficult for the other person. Exactly. That's what I mean. It's uh, yeah. difficult yeah, yeah, yeah. for everyone involved. Yeah. And as long as you're working on it, that's okay. Yeah. I'm handsome even when I sleep. Deranged from exhaustion. Stop picking him up by the tail and oh my God. It's just crucifying. Um, <laughs> yo, that would hurt a lot. I know. You fucking okay. asshole. Not night. It really is confusing as to why he doesn't just kill him, but I guess otherwise the movie doesn't happen. <laughs> Maybe he's trying to think like, oh, if the chipmunk goes missing, eventually the prince will be like, hey, where's my chipmunk? Will he though? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Sir, do you like yourself? A lot. Oh, yes. What's not to like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this guy's like, hang on a second. Huh. That's a thing we're supposed to do? Like ourselves? Yeah. Man, as someone who struggles with that, it's surprising when you realize just how in deep you are. Yeah, you like you don't even realize that you don't like yourself. Like not even a little. And you're like, mm. oh, oh, wait, other people aren't like this? Yeah. It's a process, you know? Yeah, it is. No, just right. work at it. I still yeah, have a healthy functioning relationship. But yeah, if I just let that part of myself get in the way, it can be a struggle sometimes. I'm going to put in the you like that. Oh, do it again. <laughs> Show me. And look. Oh, just to be clear, this is how a child behaves. Yeah. Keep that in your brain. Yeah. This is a very nice place. Yeah. She's excited. Like. Because she's never seen it before. And we're eating dinner. Because she's childlike. Yeah. This is a date. No, no. And it's not a date. Where's his friends? Yeah, because he has a date. A, a, yeah, he has a girlfriend. A person to date. You were going on this whole thing about people having to stay together and stuff. Come on, man. Mm. <laughs> I know she's not trying to sabotage, but still. No. Does she miss her terribly? Her mother. Um, well, yeah. Yeah. Probably. We don't talk about it. I mean, unless her mom was terrible. Well, actually, even then. Kids. Yeah, no. You, right? I have a shitty parent, but I, I still miss him time to time. I don't talk about it. You should. Mm. Because it was very sad. Not at first. You were in love. Yeah. I like that they got into this. Mm. How could that be a problem? I'm sorry, what? The lovey-dovey version that you talk about? It's fantasy. 
then one day you have to wake up and oh buddy you had one bad relationship experience and you're like it's all bullshit well she passed away you know what made you wake up oh, wait did she pass away get divorced she left that's right she left regardless of how she ended yeah. up out of his life yeah, yeah he's yeah. like this one relationship hurt me therefore all yeah, relationships yeah, no, are bad it's, like, it's yeah but i like that they got into that that it's like yeah some people do just close themselves off oh you know? no, no, no no i'm not saying this is not realistic at all yeah, people yeah, do yeah. this all the fucking time mm, mm, mm. just saying don't close yourself you off because that. one relationship went badly the practice of trying to escape delusion will often end up with you being more delusional than you were to begin with yeah just in the other way yeah <laughs> as by being like a cynical asshole yeah <laughs> <laughs> who doesn't believe in any goodness whatsoever. <laughs> mm -hmm. And don't get me wrong, I get it. I am that cynical asshole. Yeah, we both are. That's why this channel works. Yeah. <laughs> it's her I worry about, though. I just wanted to be strong, you know? To be able to face the world for what it is. Yeah, and he's... That's why I don't encourage the fairy tales. Passing that on to her, but... Mm. She needs to be a kid. <laughs> but dreams do come true. Yeah, dreams can come true. You have to have some kind of hope, uh. you know? <laughs> yeah, well, I forgot who I was talking to. Well, I hope you don't forget. Oh, the nice lady. Yeah, hey, dude, could you stop? <laughs> oh, God. You okay. know what? That's a good disguise. Yeah. <laughs> At least there's an actual effort made. Ah, put a martini me. Careful, it's poisonous. Ah. You're joking. Yeah. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah, I mean. A sip. Oh, little tie. He did not have to put on the accent. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> good work, Chipmunk. What's the Chipmunk's name again? Pip. <laughs> Showing off her face! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> the Emperor is here! I'll show you this! Ah! So, oh, yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. someone's gonna try to kill yeah, the chipmunk. For sure. Oh, hey, dude, everyone's gonna notice you swinging a broom at a woman's head, it you know? It says breathing! <laughs> oh, no. Good one, Morgan. You just Buddy. have to out him. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> He flew off. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Lucky. God damn. What is in that oven? <laughs> yeah. Hang on. Was there like petrol on the pizza yeah. or something? <laughs> no, right? Magic mirror. What is this awful place? Why is everything so difficult? <laughs> Will I ever find my heart's duet? Classic privilege. <laughs> hey, buddy. All you gotta do is get on TikTok. You'll find duets everywhere. Oh, yes. He will. Giselle! Good looking guy with an intense jawline. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, he will. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me where she is. Reporting from 116th and Broadway. Upper West Thank side. you, Mira. TikTok was made for this <laughs> yeah. dude. Oh, well, I wouldn't worry about Pip. I remember this one time, Wolf was being chased by Little Red Riding Hood, huh. and she had an axe. Yeah. <laughs> Pip hadn't been walking, I don't know what would have happened. So I don't what, really remember that version. Yeah, yeah, what you're saying is well, that- that's because Red tells it a little differently. Yeah. Because Red's a fucking liar. <laughs> Pip helped to kill Red, and yeah. now the wolf and Pip and her are living happily ever yeah, after. Yeah, yeah, she don't tell it that way no more. <laughs> <laughs> but you're go there you yeah, go. Yeah, I'm really okay. got it. Yeah. I, I appreciate one. that it only took him two times. Yes. <laughs> and he knows how to understand addresses and shit. Good for him. Yeah. Oh, this is the wrong address oh, though. Not quite. You're too late. Oh. So these are all completely different numbers. Do you just completely yeah. forget the address? I think he might have. <laughs> Dude's like, hey, I've been hey. waiting for a Prince Charlie. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Giselle. It does annoy me sometimes. It's like, oh yeah, when's the one time we're gonna have a gay guy in this movie? Oh, as a joke. Uh, it's what, like 2009? Yeah, it checks out. You know, I know what it's like when someone disappoints you. I don't wish that he's coming, Robert. He is. I mean, that's true. He is coming. Oh, yes. Because the chipmunk told him. Coming to kill Robert. <laughs> How do you have a hard time believing this? Yeah. <laughs> chipmunks, they don't talk. Were you watching the chipmunk? You no, know, if it did work out and you decided to stay in New York. But Edward is coming for me. What if he doesn't? Why do you keep saying that? Yeah, you gotta ask, what if it doesn't happen? If yeah. a relationship has issues at the beginning, doesn't get any better. That's it a bit of a cynical view. depends on the issues. Yeah, the type of issue and yeah. how it's being handled. Can it be fixed? Can oh. you work on it together? He is coming. No. But just being, yeah, hardline no, like, to everything, yeah, it's not great. <laughs> the only word that you know? No. 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 Oh, I mean, no. Oh, oh, sometimes you make me so... Angry? Ooh. There you go. Angry! She's experiencing this emotion for the hey. first time in her life. And now she's super stoked. I'm angry. Yeah. She's like, this has never happened before. Mm. Are you okay? I'm... I'm wonderful. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta feel the negative feelings. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's called contrast. Yeah. I'm fine. 
Okay, see, the one biggest problem I have with this uh, relationship mm. is the naivety. That's what I was saying on before. her part. Yeah, yeah, what you were saying before is that it's like it's yeah, man. Like she behaves like a child. She does. Yeah. I'm not saying that she can't learn and like you know no. know better eventually, but it's like romantically falling in love with someone who acts like a child is weird. Oh, for fuck's sake, man, <laughs> dude. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Man. And she does need some clothes. <laughs> she does a good job making clothes. Yeah. So. Nice dress. It is I, Prince Edward of Andalusia. Oh, no shit. Oh, he finally got there the next oh, morning. It happens. <laughs> and this guy just spent his whole night being like, he's not coming. Yeah. He's like, oh, God, there's two of them. Yeah. <laughs> How do I look? You look beautiful. Uh, sure. He's falling in love. I mean, she does, but. Yes. Dude. Giselle! Edward! He's uh, like, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, there really is two of them. No, dude, that's enough spinning. You. <laughs> You're the one who's been holding my Giselle captive. Yeah, does she seem captive to yeah. you, dickhead? Do any last words before I dispatch you? God, to be kidding me. Strange words. <laughs> <laughs> no! These are my friends. Oh. Yeah, but <laughs> okay. Sick. Go. Cool. Why didn't you say so? I've been dreaming. He sings too. Of course he does. Pure and sweet to complete. Martin also has a really good voice. My love song. Yeah, he's got training. Yeah. Who was made? Who was made? No, oh, she's been there too long. This place has corrupted her. She doesn't. <laughs> oh no. You're not singing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. Well, she's gotten out of the habit of other people starting a song for her to join in on. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking. Thinking? <laughs> <laughs> he has no idea what that is. Yeah. I want to go on a date. Yeah. What's a date? What's a date? Nice. We go out to dinner and we talk about ourselves. Or other stuff. Our interests. You can just talk in general, you, you know. You share things. Yeah. I don't think this guy's ever had, like, a real conversation before, though. Nope. And if you ever come to town, we should all get together for dinner. That would be lovely. It'd be weird, but it'd be lovely. Yeah. Good luck on your date. And now she's, uh, yeah, not as into it. Uh huh. The uh, feelings yeah. are starting to develop. It was so nice spending time with you. Aww. Yeah, I know. That's so sweet. She's gonna miss you. Yeah. Thank you for taking care of my bride, peasants. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's hands down gonna be the best line in the movie. <laughs> I sent you to kill her, not save her. I realize you're upset, madam. He's, uh, he's having a rough time. Poison apples grow on trees? Yes. One left. I mean, they're apples. You grab an apple and you poison it. Yeah. I will kill the little wretch myself! Oh dear. Everybody has such a like intense set of lungs. Phoebe's eyes sparkling. Her <laughs> eyes really do sparkle. You can't let a ch chance encounter. What if it was no accident us meeting? Yeah. I mean, what if it was fate? You guys had problems. Everybody has problems. This is true. Look, it is true. Do we sacrifice all of the good times because of them? Well, as long as you're it's, working well, on your stuff. Well, that's the thing. It depends. And that was like partly my problem with this. It's like, yes, he got divorced. Huh. We don't really get into it as much. This has been a splendid date. Shall we go? To live happily ever after, forever and ever. I think she likes New York. Yeah. We don't have to go right away. How long do these dates usually last? They can go as long as you want, really. Uh, so long as you keep thinking about activities that you can do. You know, sleep does need to happen at some point. Yeah. Or there's this ball. A ball? He likes hanging out and playing with balls. <laughs> yeah, sure. You like that? Well, I suppose. And then home to Andalusia? Yeah, totally. Yeah. The moment it's over. We're absolutely going home. Yeah, but it seems more like she's trying to put it off. Absolutely. And go to the thing that, you know, yeah. old mate's going to. 100%. I'm going to the ball, and I'm not sure what to wear. You're not what sure. You're not sure I, what to I wear. I know, right? I have something better than a fairy godmother. Daddy says it's only for emergencies. Oh, God, that's oh, right. no. Yeah. This is definitely an emergency. No, no, it's not. <laughs> like, it's a good thing that he's a divorce attorney in this specific instance, because I'm sure he has some money. Yeah, he's definitely earning enough, but... Um, Did Robert just leave her alone? She yeah. Sticks? Yeah. Good point. She was just home by herself. The boys got the wrong idea. <laughs> yeah. They're only after one thing. A ring. A commitment. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. Nobody will tell me. <laughs> I, I like that they sell that as something that she's parroting, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is this what it's like, going shopping with your mother? I've never been shopping with my mother. Oh. Trauma bonding. Soon, you'll have a new mother. I have met so many kind stepmothers. Yeah. 
Thank Absolutely. you. Edward has a stepmother. I hear she's just lovely. <laughs> uh, well, not the best example. Morgan doesn't want a stepmother, but she'd be happy if it was her. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, for sure. I think the reality is she just doesn't like Nancy. Okay, it was one thing <laughs> for the other three to just, like, come out of this manhole cover. But, yeah, this is a bit... Extra. Uh, the presentation. I appreciate that the people are around like, I'm going to get out of here. But it's also because it's New York. It's yeah. still not quite enough for them to totally freak out. Yeah. Lately, I'm starting to feel I don't even know her anymore. Okay, that is a little like, come on, guys. Find out how she really feels about you. That's legit, though. Yeah, that's good advice. Hello, worthless. Yeah. And now it, you know how she really feels. kind of sums it up, doesn't yeah. it? the detail this costume is the same as the model that she was making at the beginning of the movie i do not remember at all so what the fuck is this dance did they practice this all right this to me this dress is a complete trade down to the shit she made herself yeah. It depends on taste. For this specific bowl? Yeah. Yes. Well, the, In general? Yeah. I don't know. I just thought the other ones just were nicer, personally. This is Edward. He's my, um, prince. Nancy, she's... she's we're together. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, um... It's not that hard to say. The love of my life. Yeah. My heart's true desire. Wow. It's very nice. Yeah. So straightforward. Not a hint of irony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a breath of fresh air for her. Yeah. I'd like to ask each gentleman, invite a lady he did not accompany this evening, dance the waltz. I guess that makes sense. It's one of these kind of balls. Those balls that trade places. Oh, what an awkward situation. <laughs> good singing in this movie. Yeah. I mean, to be expected, obviously. It'd be weird if it sucked. I'm actually more invested in listening to this song <laughs> than this <laughs> scene. I love how the whole thing was like, you can't fall in love after knowing someone for a day. It's got to be three. <laughs> At the very least, three. <laughs> yeah. This one's not pretending beside me. Is there a reason in this specific case why everyone cleared the middle of the dance floor, but they're in the middle of the dance floor? They're, they're not where they're supposed to be. They're breaking formation of fucking everything up for everyone. Oh, <laughs> they're those assholes. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Oh, so Mind if I cut in? A little bit. Yeah. Can't you see I'm busy? That's exactly why she's cutting in. Yeah. <laughs> She doesn't look happy, dude. Yeah, she's gonna have words with you later. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta talk about these things. Mm. Yeah. You're sad. I'm fine. No one is committing any foul play as it no. stands. No. But it's like, you gotta talk about this later. You know, you also, you gotta get clear with yourself. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Because that's what's happening right now is they're starting to figure it out. Mm. He still hasn't. I don't know. I think, oh, no. I think he's feeling too. It's like, wow, okay, there's just nothing here. Nancy just realized too. Oh yes. Which is always unfortunate. That is rough. It's, it's never a, really a voluntary thing no. when people just stop feeling a certain way and yeah. just like start feeling a certain way about something else. It's how you follow up on that. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. They went there. <laughs> okay. You sent me here. This is true. To never be with the one you love for eternity. See, she's an expert. Hold <laughs> on. Did, did they live forever? <laughs> right. Disappear just one bite. Oh, yeah. And all this will go away. It's a, it's a memory apple. Yeah. It, it wipes your memories. Yeah, for sure. Just sweet dreams and happy endings. Just not for you. Magic will not work unless you take a bite before the clock strikes 12. That's it. Hurry. Okay. Hurry. You're starting to get a little bit of that skill. <laughs> oh, 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 no, yeah. no, 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 don't you. Do oh, God. Oh, she... Okay. Yeah, she went for it. I really thought she was going to get a little bit of reality starting to seep in because we've seen yeah, that yeah, slowly right? happening and she's like, hey, hang on a second. Yeah, she's like, oh, this is kind of sauce, actually. This seems a bit off. <laughs> no, she learned nothing. Yeah. <laughs> that is a perfect bite, too. I know, right? <laughs> That is a fucking cool trick. She just burned her alive? Yeah. <laughs> Mother? Edward. Oh, her. I'll leave her, darling. Oh. <laughs> yeah. why, why would he leave her? I mean, he might be kind of an idiot, but he's not that dumb. Yeah. Fine, she's fine. She's out. Oh, well, she fainted, but no, she'll be she fine. didn't. Hey, hey. Nathaniel. I'm back to the clock. Get the crown. Mm. Hey, King. I will not. <laughs> Drop this. <laughs> Poisoned her. <laughs> hey, coming into the rescue. Yeah. She poisoned her. With my help, I regret to say. Hey, I, okay, yeah. Yeah. Take accountability. Oh, Love yeah, it. Exactly. Nathaniel is having a full arc here. Mm. Murderous wretch. 
your days as queen will be over. Take my crown. Yeah, but he wants. That's a pretty well, thick crown. I'd yeah. take it. I mean, that is that is nice. I mean, <laughs> you can see the green electricity is shit. Though, I like right? that somebody acted on that. She's done for. No. True love's kiss. Yeah. There you go. I like that he knew that because he's like, oh yeah, fairy tales. Yeah. <laughs> it's the most powerful thing in the world. And also, she did say it. Yes. 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 Of course. Oh no, Edward. Yeah, yeah okay. go for it, buddy. You try. Yeah. I knew that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, I appreciate that Edward really is just kind of dumb. Yeah. He's a full on himbo, and yeah, that's about he is. it. And I love that. Because he's actually kind of sweet. Yes, he is. It's not working! When the clock strikes 12. That's very close. Yeah. It's not possible. I love that he recognizes that. Don't you I see? barely know her. I've only known her for a few days. It has to be. Sir Robert. Everyone oh, sees it. Yeah. Brutal. It's okay. I love how Edward here is just like, yeah, man, it's not me. It's totally oh, you. Do I, it. I met her yesterday, bro. It's all good. <laughs> Nancy, though, is getting absolutely shafted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they didn't even give her a singing moment. I know. I'm going to have a Dina Menzel in a movie and not have her sing. <sighs> oh, there it is. Hey. I knew it was you. All that. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. And Ed was genuinely happy. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, much better than last year's show. I think it's yeah. a performance. Makes sense. That's great. Ah! Yeah, it does seem like a performance. Oh, yeah, for sure. Powerful thing in the world. No idea who you're dealing with. She's thinking the kiss isn't the most powerful thing. It's her. I mean, She's like. She's the most powerful thing in the world. I will just kill you all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you a show. Dragons. They just did the, yeah, the full on um, Sleeping Beauty thing. I'm gonna need some sort of story. What if a vicious beast killed everyone? What if? She just couldn't save them. Over my dead body. <laughs> very poor choice of words. Yeah, very much might be over your dead body, buddy. Yeah, she can work with that. I'm flexible. <laughs> I did think she was going to try eat him, but... Yeah, there are so many ways this movie could have gotten so dark. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Gus. Sure. They had to. Why not? Giselle! Brave little princess coming to the rescue. It's a fun twist. Yeah. Guess that makes you the damsel in distress, oh, huh? It does, yes. Yes. <laughs> Man, she's having fun. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, buddy. You'd like to finally be released. Now you get it. The best of beast. Uh, now you fucking understand him. How did you say so in the first place? Buddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get it. Pip to the rescue. Yeah. How about this? Oh, that's right. Not smart enough to realize things break. And they all lived happily ever after. Getting a little too caught up in the moment. What? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that bit from before. Yeah. <laughs> like with the troll. That's fantastic. I love that. <laughs> oh, what a shot. Right through the arm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, ow. That is brutal. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Weren't expecting this, huh? Nope. Oh, you really could have seen this one coming, though, dude. You climbed to the top of a really tall building. You just fucked around. And now you're glitter. See? That's what happens. Hey, that's how I want to go yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> Not the glitter part, though. Just the falling to oh, a fiery death from a really tall building. Oh, no, I was thinking of the glitter. Yeah, no, I'm fiery <laughs> death. That's for me. <laughs> I'm going for the evil bad guy ending. Yeah, yeah. Got to figure out how to become a dragon, but... <laughs> nice. Lucky. Extremely fucking lucky. Oh, yeah. If anything, that posed more of a threat than the dragon ever did. <laughs> yeah. Is this a habit of yours? Falling off of stuff? Oh, I just turned it around on him. Only when you're around to catch me. <sighs> Hey, dude, don't make a habit of falling onto her. Just don't fall on each other, all right? It's like, there's gonna be hospital bills involved eventually. No, I'm thinking about the difference in weights. You sure? He's gonna be at least 20 kilos heavier than her. Like, Maria trying to catch me would not be a good plan. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm surprisingly heavy. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, but wait. Yeah, don't worry, Me Nancy. thinks a twist. Why so sad, beautiful lady? There oh. you go. <laughs> she forgot her shoe. Figures. It's all right. She don't need it. Yeah, just the one. Yeah. Right, where did the other one go? That's what I was saying. <laughs> May I? Hey, dude, do the thing that you just learnt. Ask her on a date. I know, right? <laughs> it's a perfect fit. Seriously, you got taught a new thing. Uh, yeah, Use see, it. see, this is the part where it was like, okay, you've got this message and it's great. And yep. I agree with it and everything. That's like, yeah, it's like somewhere in the middle between the two extreme ends. But then you just end up going with an extreme end anyway. 
I love how <laughs> Nancy here was just like, yep, yeah. magic. I'm into this. What show? I saw someone turn into a dragon. Fuck it. Mm. I'm on board. Hey, I took no drugs today. That yeah. dragon was real. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> wow, really good reception here. Yeah, that is crazy. Makes sense. It's a magical place. They have magical reception. Yeah, sure. To be fair, they don't show you how much time actually passes. Fair. But I think that's sometimes a bit of a problem. Where yeah. it's like, it feels like it just happened right away. It's completely contradictory to the whole point. <laughs> Start a new fashion on your sleeve. I get the whole fashion thing. It kind of mm. makes sense for yeah, her for yeah, her yeah. career, but aren't there people here who are a little bit weirded out by all the animals helping? Yeah, I know, right? I, I don't know, yeah. <laughs> you gotta suspend your disbelief. Oh, that sounds right. Nice. <laughs> he wrote a book. I love it, Nate. Oh, yeah, that's right. He wrote one, two. No. Pip. Uh, well, you know what? He's a bestseller now. I yeah. guess I guess I shouldn't criticize. No, yeah. You can't criticize until you at least read it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've never written a book, so. Yeah. Like, I would believe that more time has passed in their case. Yeah. I think they got that across better. Yeah. But even so, it's like, yeah, they had the, like, the true love thing. Three days instead of one. <laughs> Three days is all you need, guys. Yeah, right? They all lived happily ever after. Dude, I enjoyed this. Yeah, it's fun, right? Yeah, it's a fun movie. It's a fun movie. And look, all the ridiculous bullshit is the point. Yeah, no, I get that. Yeah, that's, so, that's the joke. <laughs> yeah, no, that was great. No, it's fun. In fact, you know what? There are enough little details in this movie that I would happily rewatch it to pick up on some more of that Easter egg shit. Yeah, I definitely saw you know? more the second time around. Mm -hmm. It's good if you just allow yourself to get swept up in it. You I know? think it's good either way. Yeah, yeah, it is fun to um even just talk about and like you know joke about like the parts that are like oh okay that's that doesn't make sense but it's like that's kind of part of the joke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would say the one part for me though is that it's like yeah it does kind of run a bit contradictory to the central message of the movie where it's like it does still feel a bit fast tracked but that's the problem with most of these movies where it's like they're trying to tell a condensed story oh. with something that takes time you know they're also making the point of the fast track thing but they don't actually have more time to work with exactly yeah yeah so it's still done well you still get the idea you get the message you know yeah. don't be a cynical asshole but don't be completely delusional either yeah it's good the only minor issue I have I only call it a minor issue because it's like supposed to be a ridiculous cartoon fantasy but the childlike nature of her yeah and the romance story that mm. then is then connected with that kind of thing but look they were trying to point out a whole bunch of shit about these movies so I'm not yeah. like mad at it it's it's hard to get Too everything much. perfect you know yeah. to get everything yeah. and take into account every little thing it's kind of part of the premise of the movie that she yeah. is like a Disney princess yeah. and she's living in a fantasy she's world ridiculous. like comparison and, yeah. you know they try to make it a little more even where they teach each other you know, yeah, that was yeah, supposed yeah. to be the idea that sure. like, there's not a, a massive imbalance. There is still some more princess stuff that we didn't cover before this. For so sure. we will get to that. But, you know, until we get there, you've been with Sam. Steph, and we're, we're the, the movie, movie buds. buds. Costs money. Yeah. And dignity. Well, that's unfortunate. I've only got so much of that left. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, bud. How's it going? If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Take a seat. And if you're coming back, Madison... If fortune favors the bold, why do I have all my hair? Welcome back to another movie commentary reaction. My name is Sam. Steph. We're, we're the movie, movie buds. buds. 13 going on 30. This is a fun movie. I've seen this. Okay, I have not. I only saw like the trailers when it was coming out in cinemas. It was right. a long time ago. Well, I've just had it recommended to me like a lot. And yeah. I was like, yeah, I want to see this. This seems like our jam. Yeah, and uh, I enjoyed it quite greatly. One of the things I thought was really fun, this is not a spoiler at all, is just the way you can very clearly pick out which adult actors match up with which child actors. Oh, right. Yeah. You just know straight away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good casting. So you know we're starting in the 80s? Yes, and then skips ahead to modern day when she's 30, right? That is correct. Which explains why we're coming right out the gates with a banger. Hence the sick soundtrack. Yeah, straight out the gates with a copyright claim. <laughs> 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 Fucking Mark Ruffalo pre-Hulk era. Not ready to Hulk out just yet. No, it's to build up more rage. Gee, I wonder who this could be. Swing <laughs> <laughs> around this way just a little bit, Gina. It's Jenna. Look over here, Gina. It's Jenna. 
bitch. <laughs> I know, right? What an asshole. <laughs> Couldn't stand picture day at school. I'm literally not in most of the school photos. Oh, uh, yeah. Because I just avoided the shit out that of it. That makes sense. Why would they not do another take? I don't know. Budget constraints, they don't care. I guess. They, yeah, they just don't too. care. Andy Circus is in this? Yeah, dude. Fuck off. Yeah. All right. Any guesses? Yeah. <laughs> fucking. What a mystery. Guess I'll have to wait. Hey, Jenna. Please, no more pictures. It's your 13th birthday, we gotta document. Selfie game was ahead of everyone else by decades. Check it out. On the right, who's that? It's a shitty group. Brie Larson. Actual oh, Brie oh, Larson. That's actual Brie Larson. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. You can tell which one Judy Greer is, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. I thought you were throwing me a Mr. X, you know? <laughs> nah, nah, I just wanted to point out Brie Larson. Hi, Beaver. How's everything at the dam? I'll meet you out front, okay? Not like she needs a play by play. I mean, it'd be useful, though. Yeah. See ya. Again, he's ahead of the curve. I told Chris Grandy and me and the six chicks were going to your party tonight. Really? It's too bad we can't make it, because we really wanted to. Sure you did. Yeah, Miss Measley's totally up our butts with this group project, and Chris is going to come over and help us out. Wait, what? You guys have measles up your butt? I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds awful. I could write your report for you. You can fully tell how genuine they are. Yeah, right. Fabuloso. When you're desperate for a little popularity. And also, just some kids just don't realize how shitty other kids can be. I was like that. I can't believe you invited those clones. You know what? Me too. Yeah. Yeah. It's surprisingly dense. <laughs> yeah. Someday I'm gonna be a six chick. There can't be a seventh six chick. Eliminate one <laughs> death match. I don't want to be original, Maddie. I want to be cool. Fight Brie Larson to the death. Yeah. She'll win. Razzles are for kids. She's yeah. Captain Marvel. I know. <laughs> Damn it. Exactly. Another 10 years, she gets her power. Yeah. <laughs> Reaver Dark Tree. All right, bye. Saying uh, Mini Mark has got. Whoa, hold on. Did you appreciate the pronunciation there? Yeah. <laughs> I tried to ignore that. Tried to <laughs> tune that one out. A. Oh, nice. Is a friend. No, he's been a good friend of mine. See, I can't sing this specifically because my best friend growing up was <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so good. I mean, I never had a crush on any of his girls, luckily. Yeah, yeah. But, but still. Oh, God. Go away. Yeah, just barge into your teenage kid's room unannounced yeah. with a fucking camera recording. I know, right? Oh. Like, wouldn't you think, oh, she could be changing. Look at me, this is not okay. Yeah, right? W wouldn't you just knock? <laughs> or just doing cringe teenage stuff. I hate my life. Oh. Uh, just because you don't look like these girls in poise doesn't mean that you're not beautiful. Do you want to point out that they're adults, though? I want to look like these people. Yeah, that too. You can't. Well, those aren't people, honey. Those are models. Because those are adult models. Yeah. Well, not just, just the model part, but adults. Adults, yeah. 30, flirty, and thriving. 30s are the best years of your life. Damn right they are. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm almost there. Well, you will be, honey. No, I do totally understand that sentiment where you're like, I don't give two shits. It's about, oh, but it's about what's on the inside. Haha, <laughs> that's nice. I'm getting bullied every day. Yeah, no, I was exactly there when I was, you know, this age too. Yeah. I was like, I just want to be an adult. I just want my life to not suck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I will do literally whatever I need to to make that happen. Oh my God. I'm like, when I'm an adult, people will take me seriously. Right? Then here we are on YouTube. Mm, little did we know. <laughs> what is it? You know how you always wanted a Barbie dream house? Oh my god, this is so sweet. Oh yeah. I decided to make you your own Jenna dream house. Oh damn. Yeah. Wow. This Next boy went level. ahead and put in the effort. You made all this? so oh, Maddie. You in your bubble bath reading your favorite magazine? Damn. There's that bum Rick Springfield loafing on the couch. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm to make sure the creep keeps his hands to himself. <laughs> God, wishing dust knows what's in your heart of hearts. It'll make all your dreams come true. The detail, the craftsmanship. Yeah, I love that he put himself there on creep watch. Yeah, I know, right? And the final touch. I wonder how the magic in this happens. <laughs> <laughs> I love how in these movies they've always got to have one of these moments, mm. even though realistically it could just happen because. Mm. <laughs> They're here. What do we do? Oh my god. The first thing you do is stop stressing. Yeah. I'm just gonna put this away, okay? Oh. oh shelved, just like him. Yeah. Dad, you promised you were gonna stay upstairs. <laughs> Get back in your cage, Dad! Hi, guys. The party's downstairs. I can buy and sell you, old yeah. man! <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Fabuloso. Yeah, mm. you can tell they definitely think you're cool. Ultimate sign of respect. Mm -hmm. oh, who the fuck is, who is this? Yeah. What's going on here? I know, when I saw this, I was like, who are these adult <laughs> men? <laughs> Another banger. Go hard, buddy. I know, right? Don't you love how he's the only one dancing? Look at these awkward assholes. I know, right? What is this? I'm not sure it's Matt. Oh! 
Do you think not dancing makes you cool? Because I can tell you from experience, it does not. How can you come to this party and not want to dance with the coolest person <laughs> in the world? <laughs> Clearly. Sorry, Beef had majority rules. You're all hopeless people. That's true. Yeah, no, that's a banger. I'm gonna go next door and get my cash out. It's not like I need a play-by-play. -play. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're going there, huh? Yeah, cringe. Not only shutting him down, but just straight ripping her line from earlier. Yeah, pretty much. Which they would know. Let's play seven minutes in heaven. Go in the closet. Hey. Some lucky guy's gonna do whatever he wants with you. First of all, I swear that's not how it's played. Second yeah. of all, um, what? <laughs> I thought it was just supposed to be kissing, right? I never played it, but... Guess who wants to go first? Chris Grandy. I don't know about what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's not just, hey, you go wait in the closet and yeah. we'll send someone in. Yeah, and they'll just do whatever. Isn't there some kind of picking process? Before I forget, where's our project proposal? On the table. Ah, uh, uh, there it is. Pretty much just want to steal our shit. No peeking. And just so you know, Chris loves going for second base. Oh, I just hate how accurate it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why now? Well, you don't want him to discover them. Oh, yeah. I suppose that's true. That's, that's oh. even more embarrassing. Let's go. I think I get my brother to buy some beer. She's getting prepared. She said he was going for second base. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. True story. And... Like, oh, my God. Wow. That's just ratty. Like, yeah. honestly, it is just skeevy. Scummy as fuck. What's going on? Jenna's waiting for you in the closet. How do you get off thinking you're cool when you're like, oh, yeah, I've got to steal the snacks from somebody else's party? I don't know, man. 13 year olds are so messed up. Please don't do anything weird, dude. I thought you weren't going to come. Uh, he's not going to do anything weird. He literally thinks that she's waiting for him. Yeah. I mean, she's got a blindfold on, dude. Don't, uh, dude. Oh, Chris. It's not Chris. It's Matt. What are you doing here? This is the whole point. He literally thinks. Oh, shit. He was. I misunderstood. Yeah. I didn't realize that he knew that she was in there for seven minutes. The other girl told him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. like, I'm oh caught my up God. Now. She's actually waiting for me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm all caught up now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute, yeah, dude. No, what the no. hell are you doing? Yeah. Where's Chris? Everybody left. What'd you do? Nothing. Yes, you did. Oh, yeah. Of course. Get out. Wait, Jenna, please just let me. I hate you. I hate me. I want to be 30 and flirty and thriving. <laughs> Wishing dust. <laughs> but yeah, That's this part, what wait, did it? she's just rocking back and forth, saying 30 and flirty and thriving over and over again. Is this not concerning? I guess she's been through it. And we've got to make the wishing dust happen oh, somehow. Oh, for sure. This is pretty funny. <laughs> Who rolls out of bed like that? Oh, it's happened to me before. Are you serious? When I was younger, yeah. <laughs> I just <laughs> fell out of the bed. That's hilarious. <laughs> Once I fell out of the bed and actually didn't wake up, yeah. and then I woke up under the bed, immediately got up and banged Ooh, my head. You're an odd one. And I was like, how did I get here? <laughs> that is strange. Good work. I'm mm. glad you told us that, though. Yes. <laughs> hey, Jennifer Garner. Mom? Sub Jen? Been a while. For you, maybe. Oh, yes. <laughs> that's, that's the idea. You'd think she would immediately notice her voice was different. Yeah, but no. Dad? Yeah, it's weird how she handles this. I mean, it's funny. Nice place. Yeah. Yeah! I mean, that part's not weird. That's just hilarious. Uh, all right. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's the boyfriend, hey, obviously. You know him? Supernatural. No. no. No? It looks like him. No. Yeah, he's just a little blurry on the face. You, you'll see. Oh, uh, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, at least she's guaranteed that she is 30, flirty, and thriving. This is true, yeah. But, you know, when he first walked out for a split second, I thought the exact same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh my God. I was like, wait. Sammy! Jared Padalecki? <laughs> yeah. But no. Just some other guy with yeah, the same hair. Just a dude with long hair. And who handles something like this? Like, things are weird, so I'm just going to... Hella bend over? What, what are you doing? They say put your head between your legs if you're feeling nauseous. Jenna. All right, that's an explanation. Yeah. Jenna, like, I live here. Is she married? Um. No, that's her full name. No, that's that's just her name. Okay, right, yeah, it's yeah. a boyfriend. Sorry, we missed your call. We're cruising in the Caribbean. <laughs> you went on a cruise without me? <laughs> <laughs> really weird. Dream. Yeah. I get that she's freaking out, but who just throws everything on the floor? <laughs> Like, was that normal? She plays it well, though. Oh, yeah. Even the way she kind of, like, gesticulates and stuff, she moves like an awkward teenager. Yeah, yeah. The body language. Yeah. Hey, sweet Bob! <laughs> Did you not realize he was there? No, I think she completely missed it. Yeah, I guess she did. And now this. Yeah. <laughs> like, come on, dude. And my parents are totally gonna be on any minute! Are you serious? You saw yourself in the mirror. You know something's up. Where's the condition? Not yet. <laughs> Smooth. Yeah. <laughs> you can join me if you want. I love how 
how she just fucking runs. She's figured out just, that she's now an adult and this is her apartment. Well, and yet her idea is just run. It might not even be her body as far as she knows. She doesn't the know what male, she's going to look like as an adult. Dude, the male is addressed to her. True. Hurry up a little bit, please. I want him in New York. And here we go. Judy. Hey. Can you get in the car? I don't get in the car with strangers. <laughs> Welcome to the future. It's called Uber. Yeah. Being a little paranoid. No, I'm still here. She clearly knows you. With the fucking nightgown and everything. Yeah. Literally goes into work in her nightgown. Yeah, I know I'm your best friend, but the slip dress is a little 97. Yeah. Unless it's retro. Oh, no. It's a look. She's making it work. Are you really my best friend? You're pregnant. <laughs> There's a naked man in my shower and so is thingy. Not his thingy. <laughs> I love how she's just not getting this. She just, just does not care. <laughs> we don't have time for this. No, no, no. I mean, Jenna is yeah. just not figuring it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a bit slow in the uptake. I'm 15. I'm gonna start lying about your age. I'd go to 27. <laughs> like some really weird dream is like that. Did you hear that? <laughs> this part I appreciate. Never come across a mobile phone yeah, before. Yeah, that's true. Probably just Richard, your boss. Curly hair. Also plays Gollum. Oh, right. Nice. <laughs> hey, sweet bottom. Put on your pants. That is actually sweet a bottom. terrible fucking nickname, yeah, right? Yeah, that, that's like, no. Yeah, that's one of the worst I've heard. It's not even concise or catchy. I know. Like, sweet buns would have made a little more sense. Still it's... gross, but whatever. Yeah, I don't like it. Repeat after me. I am Jenna Rank, Big Time Magazine Editor. Yes. Ah, finally catching up now, are we? Big Time Magazine Editor. There you go. I'm a tough bitch. You said a bad word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna let anyone know I'm hungover. She's like, perfect. Now let's go. She's like, oh my god, you're still drunk? <laughs> Come on, man. The future of boys depends on me. Boys. I do love how she's just so unfazed because high functioning people like this are just that crazy. This is just totally whatever, man. Comes with the territory. They came in late from the printers and they need a decision. That one. Yeah, love. You know what? Genius. No, it's not. He looks like someone from Degrassi. Eminem's on the phone. This lady was just in Bride Wars. Hey, mm. she got a new job. Yeah. Great. Good for her. <laughs> My executive editors are late because they were promoting us. Andy. Wow. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen him without grays. Yeah, young and fancy looking, right? Yeah. You're my boss. Who's your daddy? Ooh. Yeah, don't, not you. No, hopefully. ever. Just don't say those words. Mm, no. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you are someone's dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 That's cute. Mm. Is there anything else you need from me? A sanity back? Yes. A youth. <laughs> you mean like a favor? Uh, mm. sure. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> a paid favor. Actually, I need to find this guy. I'll be with your favors. I do love the job they've done on him with like the makeup. <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you fall out of the chair? I guess she's still not used to the new body. Sure. <laughs> Bit uncoordinated. Which one Holly Housewife is going to go for the 11th secret? Because that's what matters. The higher number of secrets. Yes. <laughs> you want to be ranking up there in those secrets, man. Mm, you got to have more secrets. Jenna fired Charlotte yesterday. I guarantee you she has friends at Sparkle. She was always taking notes. She was a secretary. It's <laughs> literally her that's, job. That's what I do, man. Our party tonight. We need to make a statement. Jenna, what do you think? Nothing useful. <laughs> Can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Classic schoolgirl yeah. answer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> school kid answer. Yeah. I guess at least she figured out where her safe places, you know, yeah. go to her office. No one can come in here. Uh, oh, I guess they can. You're not you safe. <laughs> well, no, but work is never safe. It's a naked guy. Why am I with this random naked guy who was in my apartment? Yeah. I don't understand. I don't get it. <laughs> she hasn't gone to sex ed yet in no. class. Margaritas <laughs> anytime. Love you. Madonna. She definitely understands how wow. boyfriends work. Yes. And yes, you are totally friends with Madonna. Absolutely. That's what that means. Yes. Yeah. You know, that's why celebrities sign autographs, mm. right? Your mother called from Barbados. I wish you told me. I thought you said never to bother you with family calls. Oof. Yeah. Please don't fire me. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Colleen is so afraid. Next time my mom calls, will you please let me know? I have that information that you asked for. Uh, Get over here! <laughs> He's in the village. Which village? Dude. Greenwich village. <laughs> At least it didn't take her long to get it up. Yeah, she yeah, said yeah. It. She's picking it up. She's picking mm -hmm. it up. Getting the swing of it. Notice this is her bathroom break still. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I appreciate this, because at 13, yeah. you'd have no idea no how to idea. hail a cab, right? Do her first time in the big city. I do like the consistency of, from the way that she was so desperate to be mm. popular and accepted when she was a kid, mm. that her adult self is this hyper-focused, no family, no friends kind of type, who's just all focused on success. It makes, makes sense. sense. It's nice to just not be like, business lady is busy with business for reasons. Yeah. Hi, this is Jenna, and I'm looking for Matt. And if your favorite shirt is the gray velour one, then I need to speak to you right 
right now. I got none of that. It's probably a good thing that he got none of that. Yeah, he wouldn't He's, have let her in. <laughs> yeah. You're here from Ming Gardens, ring twice. It just calls a cop. <laughs> You're not Chinese. Nice. Nope. CBGB shirt. We know that he's real punk. Mm -hmm. You're tall. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know me. That's how growing up works. Yes. Did you catch yourself in the mirror earlier? Jenna. Yes. Yeah. Jenna right. Ring. Yes. You're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. Oh, God. So yeah. He was just like, I knew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. There you go. Come on in. I love the characterization because <laughs> we all know that Mark Ruffalo is the epitome of of real original punk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, very much. Does take pictures? Pays the bills. He's a photographer now. Nice. Yeah. Why are you here? Yesterday was my 13th birthday. <laughs> she just sounds like she's having a psychotic break. Yeah. I woke up and I'm this. And you're that. <laughs> I'm what? What's wrong with me? You're some douchebag in a CBGB <laughs> t-shirt. <laughs> you high? I skipped everything. You need to help me remember my life. I can't do that. Why not? One day. I don't know you. I haven't seen you since high school. We're not friends anymore, Jenna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It would be so surreal hearing the same speech patterns and shit mm. from when they were a kid. I think I need some fresh air fresh and a air. glass of water and a fucking pillow! <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, fluffy pillow coming up. Cool, please don't stab me. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh, man. Our lives went separate ways. We went to different colleges. What about Christmas? Didn't you want to see me then? No. Not really. <laughs> Wasn't I home last Christmas? I don't know. Doesn't your crowd do St. Bart's? I do appreciate it. It's like, how the hell would I know? Yeah. <laughs> you caught me out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so no seeing you. Look on her face like, what, you're yeah. not coming up with me? Aren't you gonna come over? Yeah. The most depressing years of my life. Matt, was I a six chick? Oh, she got in. She did. Oh, uh, yeah, you're pretty much a leader. Yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. There's Tom Tom. The last I heard, you guys are still friends. I think you actually even work together. I mean, you gotta appreciate the determination, but only about that. That's about all you can appreciate. Mm -hmm. I was a prom queen. I went with Chris Grammy. Yeah, you did. Yeah. This is not a sore spot for him at all. Yeah, not even a little bit. I can't believe it. I got everything I ever wanted. You got it all. Congratulations. All around me are familiar faces. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Gramercy calling to confirm your limousine pickup. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes, my limousine for 8.30. Can you tell me where I'm going? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to a party. Yeah. Looks like you're back to your old self. I should probably go. I get that when you're 13, that probably seems like super cool. Well, if you decide you want to come, it's going to be really fun. Thanks, Jenna. I can't remember if I thought limos were cool back then, but maybe. I remember seeing Pimp My Ride, thinking yeah. that kind of stuff was cool at one point. Yeah. What if this isn't just a dream? Buddy. Yeah. Well, then you got everything you ever wanted. Might as well enjoy it. Appreciate how he's just like, yeah, yeah sure. He is surprisingly supportive yeah. after all this time. I, I appreciate that he's like, okay, you're clearly like not okay. Okay at the moment, so mm. uh, yeah, we're just gonna roll with it. I'm I'll see you. Matt! Au revoir. Hey. I appreciate that as an adult, he can pronounce things. No. no you know. <laughs> he's out here doing his best. Yeah, just he's, like Just like all of us. He's trying. Yeah. Whitney. <laughs> Love a bit of Whitney. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little, like on the couch, the only dance moves you can do is yeah, the shimmy. Yeah, little, sh little shimmy <laughs> shuffle. Clock strikes upon the hour And the sun begins to fade How to chase my blues away You know you're gonna get us claimed, right? Yes. <laughs> it's worth it. Every second. <laughs> this is just the cost of singing Whitney. Dude, is Whitney easily in my top five singers all time. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> I'm Jenna, by the way. Wow, that outfit is everything. Mm -hmm. How old are you anyway? 13. Me too. <laughs> Used to be. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, everyone was 13 give, at some point. Give or take 17 years. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you talking to me? Why not? We are neighbors, right? But you usually ignore me. But, you know, now they're equals. Yes, right? right? <laughs> yeah. I like your shoes. She's with it. You oh, know? Yeah. She gets the kids. I like your dress. It's because they've got these incredible boobs to fill it out. <laughs> at least this girl is 13 and not aware of how weird this is yet. Yes. <laughs> you should come by sometime. Really? Yeah, that'd be totally cool. Would it? I mean, yeah. Can I ask you something? It would be cool if you were her, like, cool aunt or something. Yeah, her parents might disagree. Yeah. <laughs> Cops, too. Can you tell I'm wearing underwear? I think that's kind of the point. Yep. Getting a 13 year old to stare at your ass and make sure that uh, the undies are not visible. Yeah. Good one. Sure. 
at least she doesn't know it's weird. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they kind of do get away with a lot of it because it's like she is just a kid in her head. <laughs> mm. What the fuck is that? I don't know. And I don't know why he had to make it look so weird. Yeah, it had to be so slow. He's like fucking ugh. savoring every moment. This food, man. Ooh, shrimp. Gotta nice. appreciate the shrimp. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> this guy? He's like, oh, gross. What the fuck? And then you can still see it on the ground. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything to drink, ladies? Apple martini. Pina colada. <laughs> Do you want to see my ID? Totally have it. I like it's like the only drink that she knows because yeah. of that song. Yeah, yeah. Terrible, terrible song. There you two are. Bobby meets Britney. Wrong <laughs> diddly I know. You're the boss. Stop it. I'm surprised he's not pissed with her for bailing on yeah, work. Yeah, that part. Oh, wow, <laughs> yeah. Just keep him coming. Mm -hmm. You know, the weird part here, though, is that she's not sitting here like, oh my God, what is this crap? Yeah, right? You know? she, I mean, pina coladas taste really nice. <laughs> Really, bitch. Fucking okay. <laughs> Poor bastard. It's 11 o'clock on a school night and I'm at a party. It's so cool. Nice. People are leaving. This is a disaster. Yeah. What is she doing here? Sparkles and darn chief headed our way. See, there's always a bigger girl boss. Mm. Our JLo wish she was selling like hotcakes. For things so bad, you had to come to our party to eat some free food. Yes. Yeah. Put some crab in your purse for later. Keep some of that biting wit for your magazine. I mean, no matter how much money I have, I'm definitely taking I, some crab for later. I, I didn't realize that was a snide remark. Yeah. I'm like, thank you. I will. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Change the name to something more appropriate, like Pitiful. You are rude and frizzy. I don't like you at all. <laughs> Ladies, we need a savior. Yeah. Do I smell? <laughs> Do I have bad breath? Yes. Smell odors in any way. Yeah. You smell yes. like shit, bud. Sorry. You're fast approaching your golem years. <laughs> People seem to be running for the exit like someone set off a giant stink bomb. This is what happens when you spend all your time living in a cave underground. Right? I don't smell anything. The party is a stinker. Eating raw fish, man. <laughs> Maybe if somebody played something other than this. This music is garbage. Yeah, it is. Say whatever you want, but those people don't start dancing. Here's to early retirement. The sole reason this party sucks. Pretty much. Crap music. Fire that DJ. Yeah. Put him on his ass. To be fair, I don't think it's the DJ's fault. Nah. Definitely. Who's Judy? Tom Tom? Yeah, Tom fault. Tom. I'm going to blame her. No, see, I'm convinced it's the DJ's fault. Look at no, his hat. The, it's disgusting. The DJ <laughs> is willing to listen to reason. Yes. So. Because he knows how bad he is. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what good music is. She's like Thriller. He's like, oh yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. let's do that, this. That's a bop. Yeah. That is a bop. I actually love how great an example of crowd theory this is. Yeah. I mean, I know you know from the trailer. Oh yeah, for sure. Because this is definitely it the trailer. It works out. Yeah. yeah. Even though I, you know where it's going, I love this scene. It is so good. <laughs> she <laughs> she looks like there's something wrong with I her. I know. <laughs> she looks like she got a nervous tick or she, something. She's just twitching. Dancing by herself in the middle of the room. Yeah. How fucking brave. Yeah. Right? That's a power move. Yeah, man. I would not have the guts. No, absolutely not. I mean, I could be the second or third person, and but we've not the first. And we've performed on stage before. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've performed many times. Yeah. Still don't have that level of guts. No. No, 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 no. He's like, no, no. <laughs> nah, just whoever's on spotlight. Yeah. <laughs> Choice. I mean, neither of us are dancers. No. So there is that. That's my excuse. I mean, I dance. <laughs> I'm not a dancer. No. Oh, I can dance. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Technically. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, okay. Come on, you know the moves. I guess we're doing this. He does know the moves, though. Yeah. But seriously, all you need is the second person. Start the trickle. Yeah. Also, the confidence. Oh, absolutely. But as soon as you get the second person to join, a yeah. third person feels comfortable, and then the crowd starts yeah, exactly. to pile. Exactly, there you go. I love how just everyone knows yeah. this dance so well. Oh, absolutely. That they can fucking synchronize group style. Yeah. Fucking zombie dance, do it. <laughs> as soon Holy as you get shit. a few people in, everyone's like, okay, oh, yeah. yep, it's Thriller. Now, we're this all is good. the cool thing to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fucking do oh, it, yes. man. You love how Hardy commits I know, right? straight away. <laughs> Oh, well, there's anything that Andy Circus does well is commit. No, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I, I gotta go. I'm sorry. We don't. Yeah. 17 years is a long time. Yeah. He's uh, having a small internal freak out. Like, what the hell is going on here? Oh, fucking oh, wow. do it, Andy. Go, Andy. <laughs> it wasn't a perfect moon dance, but no. it was good. I mean, how many people could pull off a perfect moonwalk? Moonwalk, yeah. Oh yeah. my god, I yeah, said, said moon, moon dance. dance. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> fucking. Goddamn. Yeah, living the dream. Oh, absolutely. Go oh. nuts. <laughs> she loves the credit card behind. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, she'd be their best friend. Oh yeah. Man, when she goes back in time and adult her comes back into consciousness, she'll yeah. be real pissed. Oh yeah, she'll be <laughs> pissed off, confused. Oh, oh doggles. Puppy. Oh yes, give them the ice cream. They deserve all the treats. I mean, maybe don't give them the ice cream, but I am with you. <laughs>
Wow. Old school romance movies. Oh boy. She is just having the time of her life. Mr. Hottie behind you is totally scamming on you right now. Oh yeah, by the way, when we get to this, yeah, turn around. Come on. Yeah. Get to it. Is this guy hot? Because uh, I'm looking at this guy like, no. Not to me. Right? He's totally cute. Should I go talk to him? They're not married. Sorry to the actor. I mean, I feel bad, but. Yeah, but not my cup of I was gonna say cup of D, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, yet, he's not. Yet. Oh, yeah. no. oh yeah. no, no, no. Come on, man. You know you're 30. Can I buy your ketchup? Apparently, she's forgetting. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. Oh, I get it for the joke, but like, oh, yeah. God. I actually came over here because I think you're really cute. The joke is kind of funny, but it still makes me feel super uncomfortable. Yeah, it really does. Just stop. Stop it. Get some help. Time to go. Yeah, there you go. What, do you want to go to jail? Man, gross. I mean, I can see why she skips that guy. Yes. But. Yeah, don't. Don't. Not to the no. kid. Oh my god, it's a naked man. <laughs> it's a naked man. <laughs> he thinks I'm beautiful? He's your boyfriend. Yes. How did you not figure out he's your boyfriend? He may not be the best New York Ranger, but he's the best ass. Yeah. That makes sense. Jenna? I think the Rangers are. Oh my god. Matt. The hockey team? Hi! Hey. Anybody want to correct me? I'm sure they do. I mostly just know basketball, so. Mm. Sorry about the other night. I don't care what kind of ranger there is. Mark <laughs> Ruffalo is right in front of you. <laughs> you lost all your baby fat. How's the baby stay warm in the winter? It's called a jacket. Yeah. I'm doing some uh, shopping with my, uh, Jenna, this is Wendy, my fiance. Yeah. Oh, damn! Mm -hmm. Matt told me all about his blast from the past. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Are you a photographer, too? Wendy's a, uh, anchor person. I do person. the weather. Do you recognize her? Because I've been trying to figure out who she is since I first saw this, and I don't want to look it up. Yeah, I want to get it. Don't ask me. No? I'm terrible with names. Matt and I were just talking about him finally joining me in the Windy City. He doesn't seem super sure about that. Yeah. We're moving to Chicago. Yeah. We were just discussing. <laughs> he is not hyped. Oh, that sentence fell apart like a chip sandwich. Mm -hmm. Hey, who are you folks? Matt, and this is his friend Wendy. Fiance. So weird. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. This is. Naked man. <laughs> You're Alex Carlson. Nice to meet you. Great hockey player. I'm a big Thank fan of you. Of you couldn't say, this is my boyfriend. You know uh, who he is. Hockey. Oh, okay. You want me to sign your shirt or your forehead or something? No, I don't do butts. I'm just joshing you guy. That's a weird joke, bro. Yeah. I crack a lot of jokes after we win because I'm in such a good mood. Stick to sport. I don't care what kind of mood you're in. You should probably get going. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to see you, folks. Bye. 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 <laughs> Appreciate you telling me where they came from, because yeah. I've been doing it for years. Lucy, you mind if I steal her from you for the rest of the night? Alaska Thunderfuck 5000, remember the name. Yeah. I actually had my eye on something a little better inside. Have a good night. Good is subjective. Yeah. They'll have a night. Oh, God. <laughs> Just immediately. Yeah. Oh, waiting. Should I go to his place? Why not? Go play. You deserve it. Play. Like board games? Like games and stuff. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Also, don't keep a shark in a yeah, tank this small. Yeah, thing. They're not meant to be in tanks this small. They need I mean, space. Obviously, you don't want to put them in a tank at all, but not one that tiny. Yeah, I know, right? Like to see you you want to play a game? I'd like to play a game. <laughs> Do you have battleship? I'll show you my destroyer. Oh, God. Yeah, I knew he was going to make that joke. He's dumb, and that's, like, his style of flirting is just yeah. way too obvious. Yeah, just dick jokes. Yeah. But I guess the plus side is he flirts like a horny 13 year old. Yeah, so he's on her wavelength. <laughs> yeah. No, actually though, I will say I'm glad that they didn't pull a big scenario yeah, no. where it's like she had her adult mind mm. when he started dating her. Yeah. And it's not like he met this 13 year old yeah. acting grown woman and was like, yeah, this is attractive to me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is pretty much the reason I was like, no, 13 going on 30 is fine. Yeah. Because of the time skip. Because the way they executed yes. makes it all right. Even the bit in the bar where she kind of hits on the 13 year old that's just played for a joke they don't dwell on it for too long yeah. <laughs> i forgot i owe you one raunchy script tease oh dear yeah uh, and of course and this <laughs> oh no <laughs> this this isn't this is raunchy yeah that's what i was gonna say it's like dude this is just uncomfortable and i mean dorky but not in a good way i'm glad that she's like uncomfortable and grossed out who's got the moves on the ice and on the ice ice baby oh definitely um, not you and oh my sure. god those underwear are i know terrible. right those are the worst tidy whities i've ever seen yeah they're kind of like the male equivalent of granny panties. Mm. <laughs> but the dance moves and his oh, like yeah. dumb look it's, on his face. It's 
beautiful. <laughs> this is awesome. Don't you love him trying to flex? Yeah. Bro. Boys are so stupid. It's even worse than you think. You gotta love this. Yeah. How come the ones that you like never like you? Love is a battlefield. A wise woman once said. Yes. In song form. <laughs> yeah. Have fun at work. Also, looks. Looks for days. Mm. 57 ways to have an orgasm. Touch her there. Underwear. Get creative. He loves you, but <laughs> he loves your butt. <laughs> you could have seen that one coming. He lies, he cheats. About your butt? About your butt. <laughs> ah. Oh dear, bad news. Yeah. Just gonna come out with it. You're all fired. Yeah. Our numbers are dismal. Yes. Yeah. Sparkle is closing in on a million. They have dropped the R word. Is that just a glass just of milk? Redesign? No, I like to think that it's a pina colada. She's just day drinking. Oh, okay. We redesign, ring up our numbers, or they pull the plug. It doesn't yeah. matter if they've been scooping you the whole time. So she's the one who's spying on them, isn't she? Want me to answer that? Redesign is a death sentence. It's a chance to have some fun. You find out for yourself. Yeah, I just I just want to know. I just want there to be a record that I guessed <laughs> it if I did. I should be leaving it to my dynamic duo come up with something utterly fabulous. What the fuck? What is that? I don't know. Is that but a fruit roll-up? I, I literally have no idea. But I do appreciate that she's kind of leaning into like, yeah, I am the boss. I am a girl boss. Yeah. Uh, Emily Pratt called, I can't believe you scooped my story, you backbiting little bitch. <laughs> I hope you die in one of her casual pantsuits. Wow. An intense message. Yeah. I like that you wrote the whole thing down. Yeah, I like that she recited Lewis that. Lewis called, I hope you choke, you pretentious snake. <gasps> yeah. Maybe I should read them myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, maybe just don't read them. <laughs> I don't know. It <laughs> seems kind of important, though. 13 year old her is just taking all the flack for all these bad decisions her adult self made. Put that little bitch on the phone uh, now. I'm just her assistant. Yeah, actually, don't don't mistreat assistants and secretaries. Yeah. It's fucking rude. It's the straight up don't shoot the messenger. Pretty much, yeah. Mm. Any service workers, yeah. don't, don't be a brick. Straight up. They've got it hard enough. Mm. Alex is on line one, Miss Ring. He wants to know what time would be good for dinner. N never. Ten zillion years. Write that down. A zillion. Yeah. With a Z, yeah. not a B. Pete Hansen is here to see you. Who? It's those giant pencils. I do love giant pencils. Yeah. Tracy Husband. Sure. I think most things I prefer the miniature version just because it's cool for some reason but mm. pens and pencils yeah. huge things that are meant to be big should be small and things that are meant to be small should be big yeah pretty that's, much like that's how i like my novelty items i just wish all items were novelty items yes pretty much yeah. Tracy, her lunch that's so sweet and you know nope, this is a no nope, oh, no yeah yuck, unfortunately yuck, 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 yuck. what are you doing what do you think he's doing what's wrong pookie i knew he was gonna be a douchebag yeah. you're married to a girl at work with didn't stop us from rattling some drawers loose last week. Ugh. I can't believe adult you was into this guy. I know, right? Lie down and take a member. Oh, you can't! Oh. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Even if like, he legit thought that she was into him because of last week, yeah, yeah, no, he was I, still creepy as fuck. Yeah, he's still creepy and I don't like him, so mm. I completely advocate for that crotch shot. Although in real life, ladies, mm. just, just be careful about the ball <laughs> kicking. Okay? It is a power that should be used responsibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember what Uncle Ben said. Don't just be throwing that around. <laughs> With great power. Yeah, it comes, comes great, great responsibility. responsibility. That's what he was talking about. <laughs> Crotch shots. Yeah. What's up with her lately, anyway? I have no idea. You know, she stole Charlotte's idea, right? And then she fired her. Yeah. Ooh. And let her fall on her ass. She was a backstabber in school, which is still a backstabber now. Oh, uh, yeah. Kind of makes sense, right? She got treated like shit, and so just, she just internalized it and Wait, started what? doing that to other people. Judy Greer. No, not Judy Greer. Um, no, no. I'm saying Judy Greer is the backstabber. Oh, well, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. She is a backstabber in high school. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'm more like um, Jennifer Garner's character. She got treated like crap, so she just she took that, that in and became that. Yeah, and she's, I think, starting to realize it. Yes. I feel like this is something she kind of needed to learn. This is a Scrooge moment. Mm. Okay, you're not Cajun. That shot. Want to go for a walk? Sure. Just immediately. Like, yes. Yep, I do. I'm not second guessing my engagement at all. <laughs> yeah. I still can't believe you're getting married. Yeah, he can't either. Yeah. <laughs> is she your soulmate, Wendy? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't know if I believe in those. I think that's kind of naive. As much as I agree with him, the hesitation there? Yeah. But you get goosebumps so when you're around her. I haven't gotten crazy like that about a girl since high school. It's a little sad. Mm hmm. It happens to some people. I guess. Don't look at me, man. I wasn't into anyone in high school. Yeah, no, I was. What happened to us? You can pretty much peg it to your 13th birthday. Day party. Yep. You were in the closet playing that game with the us. The seven minutes in heaven is the last thing I remember. Oh, he remembers it vividly. Oh, yeah. He wishes he could forget. Came out of the closet. You picked up through dream house that I spent three weeks building. Ooh. Fucking brutality. Stop being my friend and he never spoke to me again after that. Yeah. So he just completely copped the blood. Yep. Holy fuck. Yeah. That is so trash. Yeah. And then she went and paid 
friends with the people who did that to her. Yeah, and completely oh. ditched him forever. <gasps> Ooh. It was a long time ago. Do you know what kind of person I am now? I mean, yeah, you're the kind of person who did that to him back in the day. Yeah, you did that to him literally five seconds after you made that wish. Mm. So, you know. He's got a pretty good idea of what kind of person you are. Yeah. I don't have any real friends. I did something bad with a married guy. I'm not a nice person. I'm not 13 anymore. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he finally caught up. He's sitting there like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Why was this ever in question? Yeah. I do love that she takes accountability for it. Yeah. That she's yeah. like, yeah, that's that's the important part. You just mm. have them acknowledge how shitty they've been. Mm. And then you can have a redemption arc. Yeah. This is one of the reasons uh, I like this movie is that like, that's basically the point of it. Yeah. Is her learning. This really is kind of just like a, uh, yeah, like a Scrooge story. Yeah. Sees the future that's lying ahead of them. And they're like, whoa, holy fuck. It's a little, uh. It's a bit grim. Um, it's a wonderful lifey. Yeah. You know what I mean? I haven't seen that one. I know of it, though. But you know the idea. Yes. Yeah, because you've seen it referenced and parody like a million times. Yeah. You burn it out. Uh, visiting the parentals. Yeah. Hey, 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 you're scared old. You're gonna even get halfway. It's all different. Yeah. Makes sense. I love that line. And then I came out of the closet and told you I was gay. And then you never spoke to me again. <laughs> <laughs> you realized you didn't have a chance and you just... <laughs> yeah, just gonna try and uh, recreate it. Uh, no, I think she's literally just yeah, just kind of maybe. freaking out. Yeah, that that makes more sense. Mm. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I love how she just doesn't react to the basketball yeah. falling on her at all. Yeah. Oh, whatever. Yeah. It's more important. I love that it still works in the context of an adult, that it's like my daughter's just had a massive breakdown realizing how much of a shit person she's become. Mm. <laughs> oh, gosh. she would try and get in bed with mom and dad. Yeah. Oh, that's adorable. Luckily, the bed is huge enough that this works out. And mom is just like, yeah, okay. Yeah, man. Sure. Good parent knows when their kid needs them, mm. no matter what age. Yeah. Oh. How cute is that? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want kids, but I'm a sucker for that sweet parental shit in mm. movies and media and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm with you. Do you ever wish you could go back? I wouldn't mind giving back some of these wrinkles. Especially when it involves food. <laughs> oh. Yeah. If you were given one do-over, what would it be? Having you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, honey, you know you were an accident, right? Right, yeah. I had dreams. Yeah. Nothing. Really. Really? But yeah, nothing. Mm. Did you ever make a big mistake that could change your life? Oh, yeah. Who doesn't? Mm, yeah. I made a lot of mistakes, but I don't regret making any of them. Exactly. Yeah, I do appreciate this whole message here. If I hadn't have made them, I wouldn't have learned how to make things right. There you go. Yep. Yeah, getting older is just about learning how to live with the shit and learning from it. Yeah, learning from it. Mm. I'm sorry I missed last Christmas. Everybody makes mistakes. Yeah. The question is, how do you handle it? If you don't fuck up, you don't grow. Yeah. And I know plenty of people who are like, no, I don't make mistakes. And you're like, that's why you still act the same yeah. as you did 15, 20 years you ago. you haven't learned. You mm. made the mistakes. You just didn't learn shit. Yeah. You didn't acknowledge that you make mistakes. Oh, uh, she's just going to come up with her own idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, she's getting creative. Yeah, not ripping off her employees. Nope. Hey. What's up? Hey, I was going to stop by your office. No, you weren't. I actually tried to call you a bunch of times. Lies. Didn't get any messages. Calling you on your bullshit. Yeah. Wanted to talk to you about this whole redesign thing. I hope you don't mind. I've sort of been working on something on my own. It's yeah. Oh. I hope you don't mind. No, of course not. I love how she's break. just like, yeah. Because I'm doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. I know. Sure, babe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> nice. That's beautiful. I love how she walks off without her. Yeah, because she don't give a fuck. Yeah. No explanation. She's like, yeah, no, we're done. Hey, Jenna. She's got a big photo shoot going on. What's China? Did you bring them? Oh, yeah, I got a few. Oh, I love this. This is great. I'm hiring you. Actually, Poise is hiring you for the week. Aw. Yeah. She's got ideas. That's so nice. Well, it's not about being nice. But it is nice. Oh, yes, but. Whoa. I mean, this is just the first half. You get the rest when we're finished. You don't need to do me any favors. She ain't. Yeah. I'm asking you to do me a favor. I love your work. She's paying you for a service. It's not a favor. I've seen your magazine. My stuff. It's not like, your style. Exactly. When you're working with friends, pay them accordingly. Mates rates is bullshit. Oh, yes, absolutely. Mates rates is toxic, mm, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. It's like, if your work is worth something, you charge for it. Exploitative is mm. the word. Mates yeah, rates, mates rates exploitative, is exploitative. Because exploitative, yeah. it's always the less dominant friend who yeah. gets screwed in the mates rates deal, exactly. right? Exactly. Uh, so does she get everybody back for it? No, it's, oh, you, you'll see bottles. what she's doing. <laughs> Bit more sincerity, bit more wholesome. And I've got someone waiting. Yeah. 
man, they're really committed to this thing. Oh, yeah. But I mean, you know, it's a professional organization. Yeah, and I love that there's nothing to indicate to Mark Ruffalo that, you know, he just thinks she's been having a weird time. Yeah. There's nothing for him to be like, oh, my God, you are like a child in an adult's body. He literally just thinks that something's going on with her and she's making changes in her life. Yeah. He's and like, he's like, oh, wow, this is more like the girl I had a crush on in school. Like, all the things I liked about you are kind of coming back. Mm -hmm. So I like how they managed to pull this off in a non-creepy way. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's like, oh, she's being honest and sweet again. Yeah, I know, right? You know? Class of 2004, my God. I think I was the class of 2004. Although oh, damn. I'm, I'm having to think about this because I got kicked out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was my class? They're beautiful. Yeah, they came out okay. Huh? 2010 for me. I got kicked out uh, middle of uh, year 10. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting late. I should get home. You know what I wish I had? Money. Razzles. Oh, okay. Also good. <laughs> wow, I haven't had <laughs> razzles in 15 years. I guess, to be fair, she does have money. Yes, she does. That's just the poorness of me being like, yeah, yeah. what else <laughs> would you wish for? <laughs> Mm, uh -huh. Hey. Nice. Revisiting them classic old snacks. Some throwback candy. Yeah, I've had a really great time working with you this week. I bet. Mm -hmm. Hey, Maddie, what color is my tongue? Guess. What? <laughs> what color is my tongue? It's what color red. is red? Just lie. Tell us something ridiculous. Yeah. Red, red, or tongue red? Razzle red. It's entirely gold. <laughs> it's blue. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Show me your tongue. Come on, I showed you mine. Showing you my tongue? It's not even the gold color. Your <laughs> tongue has become gold. Yeah. Try and make her believe it. Sure. <laughs> Red. Naturally. Anytime you have those kind of sweets, you've got to stick your tongue out. Like, what color is it, even though you know? You want to know a secret? You're the sweetest guy I've ever known. Like ghost drops? What? Ghost drops. Remember? No idea. Huh? Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, though, I've never been a candy guy. True. I like chocolate and bakery treats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can still beat you off the jump. Whoever goes the furthest, the other owes a drink. I just like everything with sugar in it. No, that tracks. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dinner Friday night to celebrate our redesign being chosen. It's a fruit stuff. <laughs> you fuck. Fruits do not belong <laughs> in desserts. <laughs> the best thing with sugar in it. And you're like, nah, not, mm. not that one though. Nah, me, bro. <laughs> Hey. Oh, oh, wow. yeah. oh, we fended up on top of each other. How could this happen? <laughs> oh, I'm getting old. That means I. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> you guys are only 30. Yeah. Hey. It gets worse. You got arm hair. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> yes, he does. Never quite got that reaction before. That happens. Well, to most of us. <laughs> Wait, what? Arm hair. No. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not hairy. Smooth as a baby. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. It's like, I know how they set it up nicely, but there is still kind of a power imbalance because he's got 17 years of experience on her. The only power imbalance would exist if he knew that. Yeah. He doesn't. And I like that he's immediately like, oh, damn. Yeah. I'm engaged. That was a mistake. It's like it wasn't even me. Like I just oh, this, watched us down below. This part I actually thought was a bit weirder. And I just floated home on a cloud. Wait for it. That is so romantic. Yeah. Oh, uh, mm, yeah. Like, what do your parents think of you hanging out with this random adult woman? <laughs> Don't get me wrong, we know it's not actually creepy, but uh, like... Yeah, yeah, it's, um... When are you gonna see him again? Yeah, again, this is the kind of thing that's like, totally cool if you're someone's aunt. Yeah, exactly, but you you're know? not. <laughs> yeah. It's like, a grown-up thing. You're the best friend of one of their parents or something, yeah, and you're just right? babysitting. No, nah, it's uh, just a weird sleepover with children. Yeah, exactly. But you have someone to dream about. Guys don't exactly want to jump your bones when you're a metal mouth. What is that attitude? We are young. Well, yeah, I said he's Dude. not old. Heartache to heartache, we see. Stand. Oh, nice. Love is a battlefield. Yeah. Also, no, it's not. But love is not a battlefield. I mean, it shouldn't be. <laughs> well, okay, that's a good way to put it. Yeah. It shouldn't be. Like, do not see your romantic interest as the opposing force in war. Yeah, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's actually, you know what? See it as you and your partner sure. are fighting a war against, you know, life's obstacles. Yeah. Yeah, that makes more sense. Potentially, you know, those obstacles being your shitty family. Yeah. Actually, you know what's <laughs> For a, a lot of people. Perfect example. Right? I can think of of that. Yeah. Heartstopper. It's just gone like an adaptation shit, but yeah. really good example of like, yeah, it's you and them against the problems. Okay, cool. You know? I think that I'm going to start reading Poise first time in my life. <laughs> yeah. 
I do get always a little bit bummed out when they feel the need in movies to show mm. that this character has developed and grown and become more down to earth and mature by having them kind of dressed down a bit, you know? Like yeah, they always do the same less thing. interesting clothes <laughs> means yeah. that you're a good person. Yeah. <laughs> if you have style, then you're an asshole. Hey, <laughs> you've matured. Yeah, matured. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to see you and Wendy. Huh. Oh, buddy. <laughs> oh. Man, I felt that. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe she didn't feel that. Yeah. Wow, what a surprise. Mm -hmm. You're surprised that your fiance is here. I know she lives in a different city, but like, oh, dude. Still. That was tough. Oh, yeah. That's, that's rough, rough, buddy. We should really just try to resolve this now. He's not even listening. Instead of being a commuter couple during our first year of marriage. No, he doesn't share food. I'm sorry. Could you? Um, I missed that. He literally wasn't listening. He was just staring into his miso soup. Yeah. Ah, buddy. That's fair. I get distracted by miso soup all the time. It's fucking delicious. Okay. My balls are in an iron vice. Corporate. Fucking like a bunch of dominatrixes on steroids. <laughs> Lucy is presenting her own redesign. Tell me what's going on, please. That's concerning. You're going to have more choices. Dom's on trend. Yeah. I am far more anxious to know what you've been working on. Dom's on trend. Uh, Dom's on trend. <laughs> How long until your balls get totally squished? <laughs> Hopefully never. I'm really rather attached to my balls. Yeah. <laughs> I like how she just takes that seriously. Like, yeah, I'll roll with this. Can they hang in there till five? Count down till your balls are destroyed. Yeah. I'm really freaking out here. Jenna, rinse her ready. Hang in there, Richard. What is no listen to a word I say anymore? Pauline's become way more comfortable now. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Plus, this is what happens when you don't mistreat your employees. Mm, treat the people in your team yeah. like they're your teammates. Yeah, a team. You know what I'm saying? Just the uh, editor-in-chief, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. I love how his name is Richard, so she can be like, dick, hold on to your balls. <laughs> the new and improved poise. I, I missed that. That was good. good. Yeah. It will go heroin chic one better. Oh, God. This is so bad. Oh, wow. It will OD. Cause of death, chicness. She legit thinks this is cool. Yeah, I like the parallel that they're kind of showing. It's like, who really didn't grow up? It will be deadly Dude. serious. Who is into deadly serious? Yeah. In fashion, no less. So what do you think? A few people. Oh, okay. To be fair, I'm not a fashion guy, so... <laughs> I mean, if you can't tell... I know. A, a touch. Yeah. Oh, God, the look on yeah. his face. Pain. <laughs> He's like, oh, we're screwed. We have two minutes, hurry! Hey, hey, dude, that was someone's stuff. Hey, what did FedEx ever do to you? They didn't drop off any of our packages. <laughs> they didn't my package. I know this is different, and I know you might hate it. Yes. And think I'm completely crazy. I mean, I do. Yeah. Definitely. They will burn down the building. <laughs> but I won't care, even if I get fired. It's just that I've realized, who are these women? No idea. Does anyone know? I don't recognize any of them. I appreciate how she's uh, commanding the room, though. Yeah, for sure. Right? But just like, I love how she's just shitting on their careers. I didn't know this bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> My best friend's big sister. I worked so hard to get on that runway. <laughs> Real women who are smart and happy to be who they are. These are the women to so look up to. I really do appreciate the authenticity. Yeah. But I still don't understand what this pitch is. Life back into the magazine. Well, I get what she's going for. I but get I, the feel. Yeah. I just don't quite appreciate her being like real women as opposed to those fake women. Uh, like, yeah. They are real people, dude. Yeah. <laughs> We're just exploited by a shitty industry. Yeah. I think all of us want to feel something that we've forgotten or turned our backs on. I'm definitely with you on that mm. one. Yeah. Maybe we didn't realize how much we're leaving yeah. behind. We need to remember what used to be good. The grassy vibes? Yeah. <laughs> Like, again, I appreciate the authenticity. I hmm. still don't really understand what yeah. the pitch actually is. We won't recognize it even if it hits us between the eyes. Nostalgia and sincerity, I guess. But how does that translate into the redesign of a magazine? I just... Bravo! Uh, for the changing of this magazine, we're gonna... Go to prom. Yeah. High school will be our new angle. What? What? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We will present this to corporate first thing tomorrow morning. But everyone's hyped. Sure. Foreclosed tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Very next day. Yeah. Who's this mystery photographer? Matt Flanagan. Yeah, immediately in millions of dollars worth of debt. Yeah. Matt. There is he gay. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, babe, as if I haven't been queer coded this entire movie. <laughs> I do love the look on her face after she says that. Like, literally no idea. Yeah, she, yeah and he, <laughs> he just laughs because he just genuinely thinks that's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Marky Mark? Marky Mark. I'm going to try to rip this off, huh? Yeah, she's got a few ideas. That aren't hers. Yeah, that seems to be most of her ideas. Yeah. But in this case. And this. So they actually did tease this yeah, right the near the beginning. start of the movie. What is all this? 
You can oh. you get the yeah. <gasps> Yeah, there you go. She was the one? Yeah. Oh my god! There you go. Sparkle Magazine yeah. for a second, please. And this is why I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> oh god damn. Yeah, pretty much all of that. Holy crap. She was the villain all along. Yeah. Jen, I'm sorry to barge in. It's funny because I didn't see it coming either. Yeah, that's a good twist. Mm. But it makes sense. It's funny because they fucking hinted at it so hard. Yeah. So many times. Maybe we're just bad at picking up a twist. Usually we're pretty good. Hey Beaver, are you here about your photos? Yes. Well, no. No, actually I'm not. Jen is gonna use the guy who shoots all the photos of her sweetie pie. I love the body language acting from Mark here. Mm. I think your pictures are really cute. Nice talking to you. He just doesn't buy a single yeah. second of that bullshit. Cool story. Sign a general release. He can use your pictures in a catalog or something. Fine. However... You wouldn't be able to help but think about it a little bit. Oh, sure. He's got that check right there, right? Mm -hmm. So he totally signed the general release. Yeah. That part confuses me. That's a cool thing. Cool trick. For, yeah. And for a second, I thought it was going to be on top of her head. And I was like, oh, no. No. Dude, don't. <laughs> don't no. do that. <laughs> no. She knows how to do this shit. Did you just? No, wait, wait. Oh, I see. Still, so she was... look at the... Yeah, the new... he's like, the fuck? What are you doing? I have I... to put those back now. Yeah, you think oh, I'm not God. planning on selling those magazines? She actually likes pina coladas and getting caught in the rain. Yeah. You know that song's just about cheating on your partner, though? Oh, ew. Yeah. Never really listened to the lyrics. Yeah. Which makes sense. She also likes <laughs> hooking up with a committed guy. I was just looking for Matt. I'll tell him when he gets back. He's just not getting his tux. Yeah. Men. Everything's the last minute. Because he's getting married, remember? Yeah. I mean, hello, we're getting married tomorrow. Duh. Cutest little backyard wedding since I don't know when. She's kind of caught up to that, huh? Mm -hmm. Congratulations. I'll tell Matt you stop by. And this fiance is just so trusting. I know, right? I actually feel kind of bad for her. I do too. I think she should be with someone who's actually like committed and into her okay. on the same yeah, yeah, yeah. level. Absolutely. On the same wavelength. Because mm. we didn't stop to notice how much we were leaving behind. Practicing her pitch. Yeah. Ready? No. Meeting's cancelled, Jenna. Wait until tomorrow? No. Lucy took all your designs to Sparkle. Everything. Yeah. She's their new editor in chief. Wow. Your photos showed up in Sparkle online last night. Those belong to us. Yeah. He signed the release. Yeah. She got him to sign this. Oh. Yeah. See, this confuses me because you can tell he genuinely doesn't believe a single fucking word that woman said. Mm. And yet he still signed the release. Yeah. You stole Matt's pictures. Which one do you want to be? Hot or the kettle? They're both black. Found this in your office. Yeah. Yep. I don't even know what this is. Wipe off the dough I look from your face. Yeah. What she did isn't great, but yeah, you can kind of understand where she's coming from. Yeah. I know all about your little deal. Editor in chief, if you help him hit a million copies. Wish I would have thought of it. Mm. Yeah. You can stay here with the magazine that you flushed down the toilet. Yeah. Yeah. Why did he signed this. What did you say to him? Pretty brutal. I like this setup so much. Mm -hmm. You had decided to go in a different direction, which you are now. Whether you like it or not. I might have told him something else, too. Just can't remember. I don't think it matters what you said. Mm. Yeah, no, I like it. That it's like, yeah, she's not good by yeah. any measure, but it's still like, wow, yeah, Jennifer Garner's adult self is still the real bad guy. Mm. She sunk the company. She was going to backstab them all. Tom Tom just kind of took advantage of the situation because she was like, oh, fuck it. I'm going to lose my job anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now you can see why I didn't want to give anything away. Yeah, that's fair. This is a good fucking twist. I told you. It's a good movie overall. Mm, yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, your idea. Hey, at least you know your shit was good. Yeah. I always hated that idea of, oh, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery because somebody can not care about your ideas and rip you off just for the sake of making money off them. Mm, it's a halfway because, yeah, it sucks when you get ripped off. Yeah. But yes. If it's someone just copying you because, like, they've taken influence from you, you know, influence stuff like that. Influence is different. Yeah, you're exactly. Not copying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a difference between being influenced by something and just straight imitating it. Imitating it, yeah. Well, that's not imitating. They just straight plagiarized. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, plagiarism, yeah. Love how we know she's developed because she knows how to get a taxi now. Mm -hmm. Is this yeah. one of the dudes she went to school with? Jenna. Yes, it is. Yeah. Guess which one? Chris Cranby. Uh, of course. You're single. Definitely want a number. Oof. Still living at home. Just right out the gates with the creep show act. The tune we first tangled tongues to. Oh, buddy. Rick Springsteen. Oh, boy. This is not how you behave, my dude. Springfield Grandy. I thought you wanted my number. I do kind of hate the way they're being like, yeah, you can tell his life has gone down the drain. Yeah, because, because he's, he's a, a taxi cab, driver. He's a cab driver. That doesn't mean anything. I know. But the creepy behavior. On the side note, though, there are so many shitty cab drivers I know. that I've had experiences with. But that is not a given, you know? Yeah, but it's also, it's like, being a cab driver doesn't yeah, mean your exactly. life is shit. It's just that there are shit people in every industry. Precisely. Just laying absolute flack on cab drivers. <laughs> 
Did you just skipped straight past her parents? Yeah. Fucking sneaky. All right. And straight past the bride. Now lock them in. Mm. Sabotage the wedding. Yeah. He's very lucky he was her neighbor. Mm. <laughs> this all happening at her childhood home. Yeah. Well, next door to it anyway. Well, you know what I mean. Mm. I don't know what Lucy said to you about me, but I want you to know whoever that was she was talking about wasn't me. I mean, well, yes and no. I stopped trusting her after she stole my pop rocks in the third grade. And you could see it in his face. Wise choice. Yeah. Forgive, but never forget. Yeah. I am not the awful person I was. You leave my fucking pop rocks alone. Yeah. I'd like to believe if you knew that, you wouldn't be getting ready to marry someone unless that someone were me. Yeah, it is true, at least in the context of these characters. Yeah. He does not want to marry this lady. This is true. That honestly to me is the bigger problem than anything with Jennifer Garner. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I have felt things that I didn't know I could feel anymore. But I realize you can't just turn back time. What? I mean, usually that would be true. Yeah. <laughs> I moved on. We've gone down different paths for so long. Yeah. Yeah. I chose Wendy. In the context of real life? Yeah, man. This is how that actually works. This is how it happens. That's her family down there. You don't always get the dream house, but you get awfully close. Ah, uh, but at the same time. It's true. This is why you shoot for something slightly higher than what you actually want. Always. Please don't cry, Jedi. I'll be fine, I promise. But even so, it's like, don't settle in a relationship. No. This Absolutely is not. the rest of your fucking life you're yeah. talking about here. I was literally thinking about the house. Yeah, the relationship. The actual house. <laughs> you know uh, fair enough. Yeah. yeah, when it comes to the relationship, don't settle. In terms of the people, yeah, you care yeah. about, you can't shortchange yourself like that. Oh, kept it. Yeah, you want to wake up every day stoked to be with the person you're with. Exactly. I and mean, I know I do. Same. Maddie, can I have it? Please. You're not going to whip it at me. Not this time. <laughs> yeah. But hey, in about 10 minutes, when you're up on that altar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this son of a bitch is going flying. Look, I won't have you be late. Just go. I'm just crying because I'm happy. I want you to be so happy. I actually really like how she handles this. Yeah, I know. I love you, Matt. You're my best friend. She's like, I'm sad, but hey. Yeah. I accept what you said. She cares about him too much to just be like, oh, fuck you. Mm. Why won't you marry me instead? I've always loved you. Yeah, we know. Yeah, okay, the fact that you're saying that and you mean it- It's a problem. Pretty much shows that you are going to have problems in this marriage. Oh yeah. Guaranteed. Even in this circumstance, if you don't end up with Jenna, yeah. you still need to not be with- I think Wendy. I Wendy. Wendy, yeah. yeah, you still need to not do this because you're marrying someone you don't actually love. Yeah, <laughs> that's a problem. That's the clincher here. But yeah, I love that she didn't go into it with the intention of sabotaging the relationship. Straight up, never try and sabotage someone's relationship just because- because you think that your, you know, connection is so stronger. One or whatever, yeah. yeah. Whatever it is. Don't play that shit. Is there some uh, wishing dust left on this thing? I believe you know the answer to that. Yeah. <laughs> or is it? What is that fucking... I love that yeah. shot so much. <laughs> Such that, a good photo. Got my fucking eye on you. Did he get his, like, dad or, like, one of his family members to take that photo yeah, or something? Yeah, probably, because he's got his camera around his neck. Yeah. Or maybe he had another one with a timer. No, I think the, the actual camera is, like, a separate yeah. little thing. Oh, yeah. Some fucking... Some of that good shit. Shit. <laughs> She's just like, yep, yeah, it's pure wishing dust. <laughs> oh, yes, I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. And this is another reason why I say it's a little, it's a wonderful lifey. Yeah. Because it's just kind of her learning about her future mistakes and be like, I'm going to do something different this time. And I love that she couldn't save it with Rory. Yeah, yeah. It's not like they yeah. were like, had the big moment, but then they kissed, and mm -hmm. it's kind of weird because she's still technically a 13 year old. No, nope. <laughs> you know. Janice waiting for you in the closet. She needed to learn. Yeah. Love that. Mm. Love that for her. Of course, the great thing here is now he doesn't. She have to have this heartbreak moment yeah. that sticks with him for the rest of his life. Have his fucking handcrafted thing yeeted at his face. Maddie! Ugh. Oh, damn, okay. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, she knows that he liked her, mm -hmm. so. Wow, you really know what you're doing. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot my scarf. You know what? Be the pot and kettle all by yourself. <laughs> no idea what's happening. That's brilliant. Fantastic. Power move. Yeah. Ah, nice. Yeah. And see, this is one of the few times we can do this. Well, they were in another relationship thing because the, the time travel. I know, right? Now, yeah. Wendy doesn't get her heart broken. She doesn't even fucking know. This is how you do this. Yeah. This is how you pull this shit off. Fucking timey wimey bullshit. Yeah. This is some wibbly wobbly timey wimey <laughs> fuckery. I love how they. Oh, pulled it off. You're gonna love this even better. Oh! Dream house. Oh, it's so ugly, but I love it. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, that's so sweet. 
God, these people are loaded though. Well, hey, she's a powerful magazine editor. I love this. Mm. I love how that was pulled off. But yeah. It fucking surprises you how good that movie is, right? Actually though. Like I legit did not know it was going to be this good. So I'm I'm glad yeah. I took the recommendations from friends and sister. Yeah. You know, and girlfriend. Mm. Pretty much every every girl I know. <laughs> every woman in your life. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, straight up. That's a good indicator. That's the foundation of this channel. Mm. Mm. I remember we were going through uh, like list of movies to watch and Maria saw is like this. This one. Yeah. This We're is the this. one. Yeah. I'm like, okay, you know, you keep yeah. coming back to it. Like on one hand, I'm disappointed that I missed it when mm. it came out mm. because I did think it looked fun, but I was very immature and stupid. And I was like, no, it's a girl movie. I'm not going to watch that. Mm. But mm. now I'm like, oh, but like maybe I wouldn't have appreciated it as much. Maybe. You yeah. know, and now, but yeah, just fuck. It works so well. Yeah. Like this is the anti body swap age shift trope movie you know yeah. this is like that no this is how you do it right yeah this is how you make it as uncreepy as possible mm. you know i feel like this is what big was supposed to be yeah pretty you know much I mean? this is like the better version yes essentially you know so i'm yeah i'm really stoked that they did this i'm super happy with it and banging music oh yes mm -hmm. just absolute slaps Fucking just slaps awesome. everywhere yeah. great cast great music great yeah. writing everything it's a good and, time you know you gotta love the uh, the throwback element of it because it's oh, yeah. essentially an 80s movie done in the 2000s yeah. and they, they knew that obviously that's kind of how from it's the like time setting the better version of big it's yeah. like it uses those tropes from the 80s yeah it's, yeah. it's very clever mm -hmm. I like it. it's pretty nuanced actually <laughs> this movie's actually pretty deep like you wouldn't get it probably it's, like, it's okay <laughs> the movie's kind of up here and you're kind of down it's so it's so <laughs> Right, man, we can't all be that smart. <laughs> but all yeah, right. no, I'm really glad we finally got to this one. Me too. No, yeah. that's a that's a good one. But you know what? Until next time, you've been with Sam, Steph, and where, where the, the movie, movie buds. buds. Confessions of a Shopaholic is about learning to grow by taking responsibility for yourself. Hey, bud, how's it going? If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Take a seat. And if you're coming back, Julia, I said that sometimes you need to take a break from things. Not sometimes you need to break things. Welcome back to another movie commentary reaction. My name is Sam. Steph. And we're the movie buds. Confessions of a Shopaholic. I'm showing this one to Sam today as I have seen it and he has not. Yeah, I definitely didn't really know anything about it besides Isla Fisher being in it and shopping somehow being involved. Yes, that's <laughs> good. Good eye. Thank good you. eye there, man. It's I like to think I'm pretty perceptive. I think so, yeah. yeah. Uh, Hazel showed this one to me a while ago and I really enjoyed it, so I reckon this will be fun. Shoes. Ooh. Wonderful shoes. Sparkly cons, huh? When I was a little girl, there were real prices. Mom prices. Real prices got you shiny things that lasted three weeks. Mom prices got you brown things <laughs> that lasted forever. Uh. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. But when I looked into shop windows, I saw stuff I couldn't afford. Pretty much. Dreamy world where grown up girls got what they wanted. That sounds familiar. Oh, yeah. It's like, yes, it is practical, but there's yeah. also the impact it has on you socially. Sure. Uh, oh, absolutely. Like fairies or princesses. That was the difference for me is when I got older. They didn't even need any money. I realized they didn't even need any of that stuff for any reason. I just wanted to fit in with the other kids in school. Exactly. Yeah. You know? They had magic cards. I wanted one. The magic cards. <laughs> I would end up with 12. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. Rebecca Bloomwood. Yeah. Damn. Journalist. You go one of two ways when you get brought up with an extreme kind of angle like that. Mm. Jacket, visa, belt, MasterCard. Got 1% cash back. 1%? Oh, what uh, a bargain. So she's credit carding everything. Oh, yes. Right. Good times. Moving, I met guys. You would. Be surprised I, if you didn't. You yeah. see someone cute and he smiles. This is great. Heart goes like warm butter, hot toast. This is amazing. Ah. That's what it's like when I see a store. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> a man will never love you as well as a store. Uh, I mean, depends. Uh, gotta find yourself a decent one, you know. Fingers grasp those shiny new... Oh, yes! Oh, okay. Oh, no. I spent $900. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> That'll happen. I mean, I had to get the pants to match the <gasps> shoes. You had to. Of course. You had to. Huh. Rude. <laughs> she thought she was complimenting her shoes. Uh, yeah. Somebody stole on my credit card. <laughs> She uh, uh, yes, yes, I can claim it back. On an insane spending spree. No. <laughs> Ever been to Outdoor World, please? Yes, you have. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. That tent. Yeah, yeah, you... I didn't. Oh, no. I really didn't for Kristen's going away present. No. 
You lied. I organized the collection and then we gave you the money. Oh. Like, this is funny, but she does have a problem. <laughs> she just used that money to buy other stuff and then put that stuff on her credit card. This is funny in a movie only. Yeah. <laughs> this person has a serious problem. Oh, yeah. Special skills, fluent in Finnish. Did I mention I have an interview at a lab? Yeah, you did. It's kind of a leap, isn't it? You know, gardening to fashion. Not that I meant you couldn't do it. More about what your experience is and where Pretty your much. passions lie. Yeah. Since I was 14, I wanted to work at a lab. I would be happy forever. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Just couldn't resist that sale sign, huh? Oh, my God. No. Yeah, yeah. No, you don't need that. You're going to... Say yeah, that a lot I'm sure. in this movie, so. You just got a credit card bill. You do not need a scarf. You don't need any of these it's things. It's not about need. Yeah. That's the problem. That's why that logic doesn't work. Yeah, and she's talking about that. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Who needs a scarf? Wrap some old jeans around your neck. Do you, do you not have scarves? That's what your mother went to. Also, oh my god, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Would become part of a definition of your psyche. It looked nice. Okay, especially since I started shopping in the ladies' mm. section right mm. lately, I'm relating to this more now sure. than when I first watched it. It really is like each piece. We'd make my haircut look more expensive. Needs other things to work properly. It's not like with a lot of menswear, which is like, oh, just toss it all together. You'll you'll be all right. Look, it's fine if you're honest with yourself about it. Yeah, she's talking herself out. To, she needs it because it's good for her psyche. And I mean, she's literally having a hallucination. Yeah, <laughs> the girl green scarf. It'll be one hundred and twenty dollars. Ay ay ay. Here's fifty dollars in cash. For that piece of thirty on this card. Oh yeah. Oh no, That's dude. That's right. She's got a strategy. Ten on that. Oh my god. Twenty on that. Oh, man, just this. Okay. The mental energy needed to keep track of all this shit. Like it's alone. one thing when you're doing this to make groceries happen or to get your bills going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a scarf. Declined. Could you just put this to one I side? I can't hold sale items. Mm. Oh man. Excuse me! An emergency! It's not an emergency. Did you cash back? If I give you a check for $23. A check to, to a hot dog stand. Will you give me one of your hot dogs and $20 cash back? Oh my god. That's a desperately important scarf. Desperately important. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's for my great aunt. And she's very sick. She's in the hospital. Mm. I will buy all of your hot dogs. 97 hot dogs? Oh god. Dude. Who do I make it? Yeah. It's just like, dude. That means you just paid 20, $23 for a hot dog. Yeah, whatever, man. He does not care. Cost and worth are very different things. Hey, okay, so he's the love interest. Yes, of course yeah. he is. <laughs> <laughs> he's attractive and charming and has a British accent, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, he's chill too, mm, which, yes. you know, she's got a lot of energy. Yes. You're for the interview at a lit magazine? Filled yesterday. Oh, damn. Speak of the devil. Fill in the AKA that bitch. <laughs> the fuck? Did the back just get an erection? She has the longest legs. She notes resentfully. Mm. <laughs> nice scarf. Bought it for the interview. Scoozy. Oh, well, you could be nice. Got a little hot in there. Interviews are being held. Ah, uh, that's right. Oh. At successful saving. The Money Magazine. Could be your yellow brick road. A very yeah. convenient set up. <laughs> Dante West is a family of magazines that acts like a family. Deeply nepotistic. Think of it as a stepping stone. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. <laughs> Once you're in, you're in. But yeah, they hire internally a lot. Makes sense. Mm. Unfortunately, a lot of companies work like that. <laughs> Are you getting the perfume off the yes. magazine page? Okay. Hey man, she's gotta squeeze every penny. But it's worth 1.2 billion. Oh, I guess no. Who works there. Surprise. Rules have you spoken to all of them. Oh wow, and yes, you definitely should have just put it in your bag. We met! We did! Sick aunt, yeah. scarf. Did you get it to her? Not yet. I did, and when a stranger is kind like that. It... Dude, stop. Like. Stop. Wow. It's lovely. Okay, she didn't dive into that one. I like it. Yeah. Do you have a resume for me? I do. Keep it sweet and simple. That's how you lie. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's <laughs> right. The bag is faulty. I can pretty much just tell you. I've been a journalist for five years. I'm very comfortable juggling numbers. Yeah. No doubt, yeah. Uh -huh. She's been making it happen. I speak fluent Finnish. Quite interesting. Why Finnish? What's behind you? <laughs> oh, my God. What? Oh, it's a naked man. <laughs> it's a naked man. <laughs> what? All right, well, a few questions. Makes you wonder what um, they're looking at on the fifth floor, right? <laughs> are you okay? No. <laughs> That's the premise of this movie. Any financial stories that have caught your eye recently? Uh, okay. And I am glad that you brought that up. 
I am furious. Oh, oh, about what? What is the story with the recent oh man fish crisis? <laughs> Fiscal crisis. Fiscal crisis. Fiscal crisis. Terrifying. Fiscally, I mean. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, you dropped your scarf. Oh. Why didn't you just shove it in your bag? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Brutal. <laughs> <coughs> Just be like, okay, I'm sorry I lied. I wanted to look good. This is such an amazing train wreck. Are you, are you? She died. <laughs> oh my god. Bloomwood, you have had a tough um, 25 minutes. Oh. <sighs> None of these are things you needed to lie about. Did you just scrub my name off? She is yeah. cartoonishly amazing. Mm. Thank you very much for seeing me. Oh. oh. Yeah. Yeah. Could have seen that coming. Let's go give Mrs. Great Outdoors her tent. <laughs> She's abandoning a sinking ship. Oh, damn. That's right. The magazine's folding and she knew. What? She knew what you didn't tell anybody. Oh, that is oh, so brutal. So the whole thing's just falling apart. And, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she has no job now. Wow. And a fucking store's worth of inventory. You could just sell stuff and be all right for a while. Although you have that credit card debt to yeah. deal with, so. Don't answer the phone! I'm the attack huh? Get the Oh my god. So you have an ins- Oh my god. Okay, so sure, I'll have her call you as soon as she's come back from- Finland! Finland. Surely she's not still Thank you, bye. <laughs> Why do so many of your excuses involve Finland? That's a good question, though. Because no one checks up on Finland, Tarky. <laughs> Fair. That's actually solid reasoning. S sorry to any Finnish people out there. <laughs> I'm ripping up your rent check. You can't do it again. Well, my parents' apartment, but it's my rule. So you're getting by on her kindness? Pretty much, yes. It's gonna be fine! <laughs> No, it's not. Yeah. Two hundred dollars on Mark Jacobs' underwear. Basic human rights. Yeah, but you don't need Mark Jacobs' underwear. Seventy-eight dollars on lavender honey. I felt sorry for the shop assistant. The hell? What? She had a lazy eye. So? Oh, okay. They said I was a valued customer. Oh god. <laughs> They're gonna be real wasted before they get to the end of this. <laughs> I know that it's not supposed to be good, but fu I, I fucking love her character so much. It's so chaotic. <laughs> well, again, in a comedic context, yes. yes. How are you gonna pay off sixteen thousand twelve hundred with no job? Yeah. And they live in New York. I could win the lottery. Oh my god. Maybe yeah. you should have a backup plan. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. You could write a fashion piece and send it to Alette. Like, hey Alette, look what I could do. Oh, All right. okay. Just like a Hail Mary. Consider your shoe an investment. Everything is resting upon it. Guys, maybe stop drinking while planning. No, tequila will make us smart. Uh. <laughs> so smart, you're the best writer ever. Wait, another one to that guy at a saving thingy magazine. Oh, no. Right. Tequila does oh, not have good God. ideas. Stick your job up your ass. Twenty dollars. Yeah. Buy yourselves decent clothes. If you weren't sure how burnt that bridge was, oh, let's yeah. just try to burn it a yeah, little harder. Yeah, sure. Let's try to relight the cinders. Yeah. <laughs> this is for that magazine. <laughs> Can you guess what's gonna happen here? She's gonna get the savings job. You'll see. Okay. This one is for Mr. Successful. <laughs> <laughs> to most people, that'd be fair, but you, you kind of need to value money more. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Doesn't this just cheer you up? It's not working, Mom. It does to me. Life is like a swap meet. You never know. What <laughs> great riches. I don't know about swap meet, but I do love, you know, Vinny's. What can I get for a quarter? This. Yeah, see? Come on. It's fantastic. Uh, I don't think that's fantastic. It depends what you pair it with. That's fair. Most, most things that people consider to be ugly, it just needs the right context. It depends on who you are. And yes, that too. Mm. Hola. Rebecca, Luke Brandon, successful saving. Yeah, this is great. So I got your um, letter. Oh, God. Yeah. She said the letter to the wrong person. Oh, yes. Yeah. It was a bit of a surprise. I hope I made my point. Uh -huh. You did very well. The whole metaphor. Uh -huh. I see. Yes, wasn't it? The whole yeah. metaphor was... No, you're doing it too Wait. <laughs> what? She said no put idea. The, yeah, put them in the wrong envelopes. Mm -hmm. Describing the principles of security investment in terms of shoes... That was different. It's with you, all right? Hello. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So mm. she, uh, it gave me an idea. Just told off the magazine she wanted to work for. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to come in? I don't care. I think I just sent the editor of a let twenty dollars decent clothes and stick our job up our ass. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. At the very least, it's a power move. <laughs>
curious how that's gonna pan out. Is that gonna go through? Oh, she's going for it. I can't quite remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it locks. It does, doesn't work that way. You are not God. employed here. Oh boy, yeah, if she had gone just a little bit faster. I love how no one's noticed her so she can manage to do this. Yes, which is really oh, she did. interesting because of how much she stands out. <laughs> Hold up, this dude didn't notice her on the rack? No. Because that's a noticeable thing. He looks very skinny, but he's very strong. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Would you like to go out for any night? I don't have plans. Oh. <laughs> I love that. That's clever. Mm -hmm. Do you ever wear any of this stuff? That is actually it's pretty It's just kind of sticking out. Yeah, it's nothing weird here. Some of it's a little far out for me. Mm, yeah. Yeah, so far out. But I guess that's the world of... The pink one. Go hard. Oh. I appreciate the ingenuity of this, for yeah. sure. I'm surprised that she knows Ooh. when he's actually yeah. looking or not. And Although, how is she not noticing? Yeah. I don't really get the impression she's that into this guy's thing as she's kind of toning him down. So yeah. it's just if she's just she not noticing? dead focused on this guy. Hey, she got it. She did. I'm so bored with vertical buttons. Yes. And is this? Oh, for a second, I thought she said vertical buttholes. Yeah. And I was like, pardon? How does that work? <laughs> Excuse me. Dégage, dégage. Oh, but this. It's marvelous. Nice. We can use it all. Cool. That's right. I forgot how oh, well this literally... panned out. Oh, gosh, she's under. And they Again, did. Oh, how? come on. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Somebody noticed it. Oh, God. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just lying on the floor. Is this where you should be? Just, just, totally. Just hanging, yes, it is. Just hanging out, you know. You know how it be. Yep. This is where I belong. <laughs> yes. Huh. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's... Hi, everyone. What makes a magazine move from the newsstands? Um, desperation? <laughs> yeah. Unvarnished stories. A dying paper industry? Stubbornness. Successful saving is currently the magazine, a financial... Getting a sprinkling of Elle Woods in her character. Sure. From sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you doing? Sharpening a pencil. Sorry. You could use a pen. <laughs> I know. From now on, we don't copy, we probe. Oh, she's excited. A little too excited about that prospect. She said three week trial, give her this cube of This one's lovely. <laughs> um, she would be the type to enjoy that. <laughs> I'm glad that she's stoked about it because cubicles in general are not lovely. What is going on here? You still have the label on your new glasses. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. You took a job at a savings magazine. She needs a job. It's a stepping stone. Mm. Part of a very structured plan. This is not structured at all, but yeah, I yeah. like that you've got some thought process here. It's being structured on the fly. Mm. What do they call it when an animal rights person gets trampled by a cow? I don't think there is a word for that. Isn't it irony? Ironic. <laughs> thought she was genuinely asking. Mm. Ironic that we're advising people on how to handle money? Yeah. Yeah. I thought it would be nice if my maid of honor could afford her own dress. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! Yes! Credit limit on your card was reached. Yeah. Please don't con someone out of a dress for your friend's <laughs> wedding. I just found the perfect book for you. Control, Control your, your urge to show. Yeah. DVD included. Oh my god, yeah. this guy. <laughs> Can't remember his name. Yeah. Does your heart quicken when you see new merchandise? Yes! No. Does it? Yeah, it does. Okay. Well, for her. No, I was asking me. about you. Oh, me personally? <laughs> Depends. Fair enough. Declutter your life. Throw it all out. No, sell. And toss it. Don't throw it out. Sell it or give it to, like, Goodwill? Yeah, look nice. She's like, no, I can just store it all. Fresh start calling. It's a start. Nah, I should sell, but honestly. You do need to get rid of some of that stuff. Do I need this? No. Creepy, but I did like the effect with the mannequins. Mm -hmm. What's this? Looks as if it's been copied straight out of money for dummies. Oh. Ooh. Oh, hon. I wanted an angle. Try it again. Remind me why I hired you. Okay, well, good news is that she has to um, use her skills. Yeah. I could good, definitely... Good angle on... Oh, my God. Oh, dude. <laughs> dude. No. Mate. Rebecca. <laughs> Bro. Did you just type good angles on APRs into Google? Yeah. Why? That's, that's what she did. I Googled. I Googled. I Googled, you did. You know these guys, right? Parallel growth in the communications industry. I'm not in your company. He's a good boss for actually taking her to somewhere where she can learn. Fair. In which someone needs to be asking some very hard questions. It's you. Put your hand up. You're the one who's supposed to ask the questions. Wow. No. She has zero. Oh, she really has zero impulse control, huh? Yeah. He's not listening. Louder. He can't hear him. Rebecca Bullard! Oh, God. Oh, wow. Yep. From? From successful um, saving. Oh, there we go. We'll be taking questions after Good. performance oh. in the Asian <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. How much do you burn? Earn. How much do you burn? <laughs> uh, uh, what do you earn? Why did you award yourself bonuses? 24 million. 23. 24. 
billion. Million, <laughs> dude. While your investors lost eight percent. Okay, she got that one. Yeah. Hey, I on feel, you. I feel like he should have written it down first. <laughs> yeah, write it down and just like hold it in front of him. Mm. You know what I mean? Happy to answer. Is that true? Oh, that's all right. Now she got the ball rolling. Yeah. Long pause, no. And no answer. Long pause, no answer. <laughs> you know why we did that? Cool initiation, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some bizarre form of hazing? Yeah. <laughs> Security can mean different things. Some, it's going to a party wearing the right shoes. It might leave you feeling secure for an evening, but have a crippling effect on you in later life. Huh. I wrote that. Those are good yeah. words. Now, what firms like Common Text thrive lack of public understanding? Yeah, most big companies do. Uh -huh. Macy, with her $200 investment portfolio, what does she know? I don't know. What she's told? I don't know her. Well, case in point. <laughs> <laughs> if the magazines she looks to for answers aren't asking the right questions, isn't good for Maisie. Tell the truth that Maisie can understand. What about me, bro? Oh, I mean, you're Maisie. No, I'm not. In this situation. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. Fred. <laughs> okay. Yes, Fred. All right. I sent someone. It's a real find, actually, the girl I sent. I assume that's why I got you to recruit me. Don't assume too hard. I hired you to fix the bottom line of this magazine. Advertising revenue. We know that. <laughs> we do. To create a product that sells, not to sell a product. Huh. Yeah, those mm. are two different things. Very much. What if I'm with Edgar West? And he just turns to says, hey, Luke Brandon decided to hire a journalist who could damage the interests of Dante West. She won't. That I is mean, a good question. Couldn't any journalist do that? <laughs> yes, but I love how it's like, he doesn't know that she's not qualified for this job, mm. but he's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically, she does have what it takes. Sure. As you will see. Yeah. There's another entrance this way! <laughs> oh, God. Good God. Oh, no. <laughs> been to a sample sale like this once. They weren't this hectic. <laughs> right. I need, as it is winter, and I have pants. So these are, what, things that companies are trialing for the future? Yes, as limited. Oh. Do I need these? No. Oh, shit. Jenny, crunchy boots! Getting that impulse control already. I had them first. I know, but you put them yeah. down. Dude, are you for real? Oh, yeah. I saw them first, so I'm gonna take them. The kid with the toy instinct. Give me the boots. No one gets hurt. Oh, my God. Dude. There's a sale! The thing that worries me is I don't think that this is comically over the top for the movie, that this kind of shit happens. Yeah, it does. So, <laughs> That's a sad thing. Yeah. But it's kind of necessary. For her character development oh, yes. right now. Are you realizing the error of your ways? Oh, yes. I used again today. Oh, no. 95% acrylic, 5% cashmere. Oh, my God. Not even remotely worth that. Wow. That's how they get you. I know, because yeah, she's rushing. She's trying to get the thing. And you're like, you didn't look at the label. Your card is like a 50% off cashmere coat. Promises to be your best friend until you realize it's not real cashmere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've been ripped off. Exactly. Yeah. We get it. Now go away. <laughs> That's fair. That's off. Your coat isn't actually a friend at all. You should have read the fine print. Unsurprisingly, he's... You should put a picture in that. ...impressed with it. This is good. Is it by Rebecca Bloomwood? <laughs> yes. Fair question, but yes, it is. My friend Sue saw me writing it. Is that how you want your name to appear? By Rebecca Bloomwood. Oh, right. Right. Oh. No, I don't want to be too associated with this magazine. Sorry? <gasps> oh! Dude. Mate! It's better to be slightly more of an everyman. Also, there might be some people in the financial sector who won't take her word seriously yes. because it's her. That's, that's a good idea that she definitely didn't think of. The girl in the green scarf. I bought your magazine, already told three stores where to stick their credit card. Okay. You never check the APR. Huh? Derek Smith. Oh, God. Yeah. You have to follow up on this. You never get this kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, so she's, she's the relatable angle. Yeah. I've just spent a few minutes rather wrapped up in your green scarf. I like it. Uh, a passion for personal finance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. She... Yeah. You could say that. That's true. He is really being persistent. He's not He's busy. busy. It's this charity that I'm... <laughs> Dude. Sure. Stop. Seems that he liked the column so much, sending extra copies of the magazine to his children. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I guess his children would be adults. Yeah. It's just a weird sentence. Yes, it is. There's a man holding on line, too, and he says it's a matter of life or death. Uh... Derek Smith. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's also in you the... You need uh, to answer. Oh, no. Dude, this is what happens when you fucking don't follow up on things. Yep. 
<laughs> so everyone, I love, I love his reactions. <laughs> is just sitting there like, what? Exactly. How long has this ex been stalking Dude. you? Dude. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> fuck. I knew it. Fuck. I knew Ever it. since the relationship ended. Yeah. Following me around <laughs> pretending to be a debt collector. This is only funny yeah. because it's a movie. It's in the, the context of the movie, I don't want to think too much about it. No, it benefits to not think about it yeah. too much. Lock all future calls from Derek Smee. It oh is my God. a clever strategy, but I don't want to give her too much credit. I'm sorry, what's a clever strategy? Oh, just this, being like, oh yes, he's a stalker, and therefore they're going to oh. block all communication. Yes. Yes. But the whole... Just that. <laughs> I'm going to put off my problems till later. No, 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 no. There's nothing worse you could do. No, I know. Money is what I came to talk to you about. She's very much into deep. We just don't spend, we save. And we built up quite a little nest egg. Right. Yeah. So in other words, her parents are solid. We decided. Wanted to call you here. She thinks that she's getting uh, bailed oh, out. No, no, you're not getting bailed out. We spent it! Yeah. Nice. <laughs> hey! <laughs> They took her advice. <laughs> nice. How much did they really have if they spent everything on this? Oh, those things are expensive. He's wanted one of these since the day I met him. Okay, fair. Those things are really expensive. Oh, yeah? Apparently. Okay. I, have no, yeah, yeah. I have no frame of reference. Like good quality ones, yeah. They sent us this It about really makes you sit up and think about money. How about it investing in what you buff? Yeah, I mean, preferably don't yeah. wait until like you're like older to enjoy your life. Try to enjoy oh. it. By someone called the girl in the green scarf. Through your... <laughs> they read her fucking article? Of course they did. <laughs> okay, good, good for you guys. But yeah, enjoy your life while you're living it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Not like, to say you're not living it when you're older, but just like, yeah. also earlier. Yeah, yeah. I want you to come with me to the APA conference. I should definitely be there. Find good restaurants in case anyone wants to relax. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's why you're for excited. Sure. Yes, Absolutely. totally. Not that I intend to. Some people might. Uh -huh. Glad you're so enthusiastic. I'm kind of excited myself. Yeah. Very enthusiastic. Uh, I'm sure you are, for totally mm -hmm. different reasons. You are? You've got a legit reason, don't you? Oh, bit of a slip. I mean, because a lot of people are very excited to meet you. Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh -huh. You've opened up a whole new... Tried to walk that back quick. Interesting. Demographic. You're opening up his what? <laughs> Demographic. Oh, boy. Dude. Are you supposed to be getting to a let? I'm on my way. Once you're in, you're in. You're in as a finance guru. <laughs> yeah. I give great financial advice. Yeah, also, that's a good thing? Yeah, exactly. Finance gurus are usually respected. So have you ever considered taking your own advice? <laughs> Even if they're legit or not? Yeah, true. <laughs> Oh my god. There isn't another reason why you want to go to Miami, is there? No. I mean, it's. Maybe it rhymes with fluke. I was going to say because it's Miami, but yeah, also, yeah. also that. You like him. This is terrible. <laughs> no. <laughs> it seems like a good thing. Well, if she works for the other mm. magazine, then yeah. With or without that, he just seems like a good dude. Yes, I, I yes. get the whole mm. boss employee yeah, thing. Yeah. I do. You're advising people about debt and you're up to your eyeballs in it. But no, she is right. The, the debt is kind of the most pressing issue. That is an issue. Yeah. Mm. Should probably fix that. Mm. Mm. Monsieur Sherman? Mm. Burning the midnight oil, mate. Oh, yeah. My name is Brandon. My mother's name is Sherman. Yes. Fair enough, I guess. Sure. Whatever. Oh! Oh, yeah, that's right. She's into him. Ah, cool. So far, we know basically nothing about this woman, so... We should have dinner. That was quick. She's on it. I like that. That's how you get a date. Take notes, everybody. Just fucking <laughs> go for it. You don't necessarily need to trip into anyone. Yeah. Although I have accidentally done that, so... Oh, my God. Were they okay? Well, I didn't trip hard. You're a big fella. That's true. And yes, they were fine. Okay. <laughs> Can I introduce Hi. Rebecca Bloomwood? A risky investment is like a pair of platforms. Nobody oh. has ever quoted me back to me before. Look, Lyle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you from the United North? I run it. You have the most boring window display. <gasps> oh. She means the No, opposite. no, no. I'm what serious. No, she's being honest. Yeah. Because if somebody hit the snooze button in my brain. Yeah, you need to fix your shit. No. You need to put some pretty something <laughs> yes. to get people in. But she's being direct. Yeah, she is. And he's appreciating it. You could have a sale. <laughs> a sale? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hey, Fred's character, whoever this guy is. Yeah. Pay attention. Keep her on a leash. She's damaging the magazine. Oh, I fucking hate that expression so much. Hmm. It's a well-researched, fully supported article. They're not running the piece. See, his company is worth two million a year to Dante. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. See, if you can't run the piece, what's the point of having the magazine? Exactly. A columnist of yours said the most outrageous and respectfully apologized for the brilliant. Dude, yeah. Just listen, Fred. <laughs> These are boring. Aren't they boring? She's right. She's <laughs> being honest. Uh-huh. I'll be talking to you about advertising. Great. You should. Two-faced motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One more person here that you really ought to meet. I think having the language in common. 
Everyone should help. Um, oh, wait, yeah. Finish? I want you to meet Yane Virtanen. Oh, no. Oh. I told him your part finished. Oh, no. Ah, that's right. Oh, God. You only lie about things on your resume that you can back up. Oh, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, God. <laughs> How you doing in Finland? <laughs> Is it? You gonna tell the Finnish guy that? Oh, my house got a lot of so I'm like, oh. Oh. Uh, yein. What is that? Nine, that's German. <laughs> she said yein. Oh, yein. I don't oh. even know what that means. Nothing. Korva boosteja. Entä sulla? Dude, run. Just run. Yeah. This is one of those times where you can fucking run. Yeah, you can just bail. Just do it. You just be like, oh, Bail. <laughs> oh. Men like you are the reason I left Finland. This is so weird. Dude. Oh, boy. Derek Smith from All City Debt Collection. Yep. Didn't check that call ID. Mm. How's your leg? Still broken? No. It, it's much better. It's fully healed and ready to run away from you. <laughs> yeah. We're Scandinavians. Uh-huh. I'm guessing he's all good, too. Like her. Of course. Yeah. It's the only way this mm. kind of movie can work out, but I don't like the way he said that. Yeah. That was a bit much. Kindly limp, stagger, or crawl to my office uh. this afternoon. Definitely rem <laughs> Shocks? I'm sure. It definitely reminds me of Domino's skill set. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, for those of you who saw Deadpool 2, also mm. just a Marvel comic character. This girl's got luck. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Unless the outstanding balance Monday morning. The next step. Brutal. Personal contact. Oh. Okay. I do not want personal contact with this man. Absolutely. So sorry. I've got to go. Yeah. That's why you pay your debts. <laughs> yes, of course. You are getting your own ringtone. I mean, fair, but you know, you can't just ignore this problem, right? Yeah, this definitely has some similarities with the other Confessions movie. Oh, yeah. Anytime there's Confessions in the title, mm. the character's going to be a little bit terrible. Edgar West has taken a table at the charity ball. Well, actually, to be fair, she's a million times better than Lola. Yeah, no. I guess which two people from successful savings have been invited. And I don't think she's terrible. It's no. just like, oh, these are bad choices. Yeah. And that is mainly down to you. Uh, yeah. Everything's coming up Millhouse, huh? Mm -hmm. Are you okay? You have bluffed and gambled your way through this real hard. This isn't easy. Cool. Are you going to tell him something truthful? She's going to try. Uh, okay, do your it. Your tie does not go with your shirt. <sighs> okay, I mean, the only way you can be honest is with fashion. I mean... Oh, no. You have to save her shopping. That's her love language. Look, it's something. <laughs> I get it. You don't. You have to strike with precision Hi. and get no. out. <laughs> 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 yeah, see, the question is, why are you shopping? Well, geez. He's right, that tie not doing him any favors. Totally fair. Question is, oh. what do you want out of your tie? To any of the like few cis head dudes who are watching, what I really need is a tuxedo. At least once, try a pink shirt. There's such a fucking phobia towards it. And a black Veniche shoe. That's still a thing. Yeah, and also, yeah, he actually knows his shit. <laughs> Good for him. Mm. But yeah, I could have sworn like dudes in my high school thought pink was popular. Look, when I was selling suits and stuff, yeah. it was a constant hump to get over with a really? lot of dudes. Really, that's not, still a thing. Not always older but most of the time older you speak Prada <laughs> speak Prada <laughs> uh, yeah okay okay you generally if you know how to dress well, why do you come to the office looking like... Because <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> care. I don't want to be defined by clothes or labels or family. That's right. How can it be a burn if he knows what looks good and just doesn't give a shit? That's fair. Why would you be defined by family? My mother is Eleanor Sherman. Yeah, that's right. He's kind mm. of a, a Nepo baby. We dressed her for the Mac Gala. Dude, yeah. Yeah. He knows. Congratulations on having such a fabulous mother. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sure he's hyped. Cheers. I grew up in England with my dad. Totally different from my mother. Interesting how opposites can attract sometimes. Depends on what you consider opposite, but mm. yeah. Yes. She wasn't interested until I was an adult. It was assumed that I would just fall into line. For the throne? For the throne. <laughs> it's consistently how things go, but she's, yes. get, she's getting confused because he's British. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the family business. What's the business? Put the collar down now. Owning stuff. Thank you. Real estate, internet businesses. Human lives. Yeah. Oh, God. Rich people. That's very much like in line with the throne. Yeah. <laughs> I chose to succeed on my own terms. Mm. What's Dante West? Yeah. Um, Do you have a take on everything in life? Yes. Do you should, though. That's uh, definitely becoming more common now. Yeah, like, be opinionated. Yes. Have a perspective. Yeah. Just don't be afraid to discuss and change your mind. Precisely. And especially change your mind. Mm. What would your take on me? As an investment, you pretty much suck. Oh, boo. Brutal. You're a workaholic. You put in all these hours. But true. You don't rate the rewards. Mm-hmm. 
goes into someone else's pocket. I'm sure. That okay. empty picture frame. Yeah. But you're a great editor. And now you look like one. Um, I mean, he looks like a Bond villain. I mean. Or he wants to be Bond. Potato, potato. Either way. <laughs> it wasn't all work and no play. His outfit is much better just without the tie. Pick one. Oh my god, I love this one. Why did you buy me a fan? It's fucking boiling. Because we're going to dance. Oh. All oh, right. okay. I don't know how to do this kind of dancing. I do. Sweet. I don't know if that helps. Oh, I guess well, if you're he, leading, yeah. yeah. He can straight up just show her how. True. No. <laughs> and I guess part of the question is just, <laughs> are you okay at dancing in general? Mm. Yeah. And I mean, a lot of dances you can just keep simple to start off with at, least, yeah. at the very least. But then, of course, they're going to go for like more complex stuff. <laughs> sure, but this is all the, the standard stuff you yeah. see like in every version. <laughs> oh, dude, okay. Do you like that there were some fuck up? Though. Yeah, that makes sense. Love. Oh, oh god, wow, that's, that's so awkward. Super uncomfortable. Oh no, don't <laughs> don't do that. There's, I think there's no point. I've been able to see the Australian in her more than right now. Yeah. You should have your own business. You know, Rebecca, about the ball. There's um. I've got other balls for you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe something that I. Know. Well, finally. Oh, the, uh, huh? that's right. Mine are tied up in something. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, she she invited them to dinner. Yep. Did he just straight up forget? Probably. Did he just never agree in the first place? No, I'm pretty sure I like went. shopping too. We're gonna look so major. Aren't you glad I convinced you to go with me? <laughs> I just remember she was saying earlier, like, mm. we're going to dinner later. Yeah. I don't remember his answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was trying to. Yeah. Ah. Oh, great. Well, I'm gonna go. Go. Stuck out gracefully. Mm -hmm. Come out for a drink. You know Alicia. Yes, come out for a drink. Uh-huh. Uh, I have to make some calls. She'd be like, yeah, no, no, thank you. Like, if yeah. he's into you, he won't be into her. Exactly. And if he's not into you, then whatever. And no one wants to be a fucking third wheel. Yeah. Hey, Suze. Don't come home! I am home! Well, don't come to the front door! All, all smithy. Yeah. The smithster. Are you fucking... Yep. Oh, my God, <laughs> yeah. What'd you tell him? Okay. You badly owed these people money. I told him yeah. that your Aunt Ermintrude died of malaria. Are you fucking serious? She's trying to skydiving accident. Her parachute didn't open. She doesn't even exist. Yeah, true. Mm. Keep your track of a little lies here. No, I've made some mistakes, but I'm turning my life around. To be fair, most of what you've done up until this point were mistakes. Yeah. But I do like that she's at least recognizing some of her issues. Yeah. Imagine you wearing this dress. I forgot I even had this dress. And Fluke would love you in yeah, that. Yeah, I bet you did. Mm, yeah, that... Makes sense, yeah. She keeps calling him Fluke. Yeah. Don't talk about Fluke. Alicia bitch long legs happened. <laughs> she seemed quite lovely, let's be real. <laughs> She's a girl with a perfect everything. Like, I know that they're, tr they're supposed to sell her as a power bitch, but mm -hmm. she not done anything horrible to her directly. <laughs> or in general. <laughs> yeah. Buy a new bag. There has to be a bag somewhere. Don't open that closet. Yeah, stop you, buying shit. No, yep. you have so many bags. Oh, yeah, okay, <laughs> yep. Oh, no, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. You didn't throw anything away. Throw away nothing. No. Yeah, she is a hoarder. And yeah, to be fair, hoarding is totally like a, th a thing That's that a people need illness. help with. Yeah. Yes. My name is Joyce and... I'm shopaholic. Okay. Six months, four days since I last used my credit card. I appreciate the, uh, you know, equal rep. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, guys totally shop hard too. Oh, absolutely. Mm. Did you hear that, Joyce? <laughs> Fucking brutal. What the fuck? I'm a shopaholic. I'm also a former NBA player. Yeah, wait, what the hell? Cartier today. How many did you buy this time? Seven. Every day of the week. Hold up. I swear I know this man. Yeah. I'm Rebecca Bloomwood. Hi, Rebecca. Hi. Came here as a favor to a friend. No, no, you didn't. Mm. I mean, I like shopping. Is there anything so wrong with that? I mean, it's how you the, do it. To the extent you do it, yes. Stores are put there to enjoy. To a degree, yeah. sure. Yeah, within moderation. Mm. It's beautiful. I love this one. <laughs> Sheen of silk draped across a mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop talking yeah. about it like this <laughs> in, in this bed. room. What are you doing? Italian leather shoes. That's the best. Oh my god. You're damn right. <laughs> you swipe your card. Stop it. What are you doing? I know. Thank you for the sharing. The joy you feel when you've bought something. You went shopping. Hand over a little card. Oh my god. Are you literally whipping oh this room god. into a frenzy? This is the only way they could have made this funny and not just really sad oh. <laughs> and making a mockery of addictions. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty messed up. Yeah. I need to buy a new bag. Get a watch to go with that. <clears throat> oh my god. I'm really strong. My wallet is closed. Oh. 
Okay, no one went with her. No, <laughs> she pulled them back in. Okay, that's Ta-da. a good group leader. Rebecca, on the other hand, oh yeah. The fro- you froze? A credit card, yep. Are you shitting me? Ah, I've heard of someone freezing your accounts, but oh. this is ridiculous. Have I seen absolutely everything? Oh god, yeah, that's just a fucking- She broke. Mm. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Hypocrite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You helped her break, let's be real. Yeah. Get it all away from me! Those. Oh. Those. Yeah, it's, it's, it's funny, but it's pretty messed up. You're unraveling. Oh, oh no, yeah. that's not how you do it. Yeah. Shame. Yeah, she knew okay. that's what was gonna happen. <laughs> that's not great. <laughs> that's something. Yeah, use a pin. Yeah. Oh, oh my shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no, catch her, catch her. Yeah. Good luck. Get, oh, get, get off, get off get her. Off. It's not that hard to yeah, get off why? Of somebody. Oh my god. Yeah, why are you struggling so much to get off of her? How did she manage yeah, to destroy that her. so thoroughly? Yeah. Was, she is drunk. I need a glass of champagne right now. And I only trust you. Now have a gin and tonic? For some reason. Absolutely! She's not a waiter. Yeah, you'll see. Right, because she's dressed kind of like a waitress. Hey. Yeah. They want her on the morning coffee show. It's hard to ignore. <laughs> yeah, she's not happy about that, huh? Dude, no, you're not supposed. Why are you in the kitchen? I need a gin and tonic and some champagne, please. What are you, a drunk? Yeah. Do you know how short staffed we are? That's fair. Go! No, no, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're wearing yeah, similar okay. dresses. I do see that. I'm not a waitress. I know you're not, honey. You're an actress. Oh, yeah, I yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she, she didn't understand the full extent of how the sabotage would go, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Hey. You have low fat dressing. I'm actually not a waitress. The famous Miss Bloomwood. Put it down and sit. Yeah, I'm not a waitress. Ah! Ah! Uh, trust. You have to look before you step. Mm. You'll be pleased to hear that the fish particularly powerful aphrodisiac. Give her two. Why are you giving aphrodisiacs around? No, it's not, though. <laughs> We're the business meeting, man. That fish weighs the same as the girl on your last cover. Um, concerning. Yeah, that's very concerning. Were you a salmon or a trout? You were a trout. <laughs> I don't know, she's some kind of fishy. Imagine she was just like, you're a bitch. Thanks for saving me in there. Yeah, that could have gone mm. a lot worse. He's very smooth. He is. So have you filled your photo frames yet? I don't have any photos. Not yet. Maybe we could take some together. You could put a picture of Alicia in one. <laughs> Look at that bait. Yeah. Probably wouldn't be room for her spidery long legs. Dude. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, then now they're spidery. <laughs> long legs, vastly overrated. Okay, sure. I thought she was your girlfriend. Yeah, no, she's... No. She's just a woman who asked him out that one time. Exactly. It's not you. Oh. oh. Fucking go for it, man. You know, funnily enough, I, you boy. <laughs> I like these two together, but I don't think they really built it up enough. Um, I'm not know. saying they didn't build it up at all. I think it's there. They could have used more. I'm saying, sure. did I say it wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I say I wanted more of it. Is that Smith? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Tell her you'll slap a lean on her house. You got to take her right to the edge of the cliff. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. He's closing in on the kill. I'm assuming that she's recognized who that is. Oh, that's Maybe how, from the voice. Yeah, that's how you earn a commission. Jesus. Well, look, the debt collecting industry is a problem because yes. of how it's structured. Well, exactly. well when it's like, but, oh, you get commission on it? No. Yeah, I agree with that I, part. Yeah. But he has to follow her. Yes, oh, for she sure. She has to pay her debts. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. The for, debt collection industry has been um, exploited. Yes. And it is now basically just inherently exploitable. Yeah. Or exploited, you know what I mean? Precisely, yeah. Yeah. Also, isn't that like massively obvious? Yeah, that, that's weird. You're being incredibly sus. Thank goodness for redial. <gasps> Dude, mute. Put it on silent. Oh, silent you fool. that shit. You fool. Silent. Run. Do not answer this call. It's Derek Smith. Yeah. Oh, just dude. Completely outed yourself. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you're screwed now. You dug a hole uh, and you just kept digging. Go hard, Smith. Yomero. Oh, God. We <laughs> <laughs> got that far. Excuse me. Ah! I've come for the green scarf, girl. Cool. Monsieur West has asked me to dress you for TV. I don't know if it's a good idea putting her on TV. Derek Smith is here. Cool. Can you oh, go boy. talk to this man? Becca yeah. is being stalked. Oh! <gasps> No, mm. no, no. I've had enough of this clown. I'll see him. Whoa! Yeah, oh dear. Don't worry, I've already mm. called security. So, uh. <laughs> will security work in this? Yes. This is outrageous. I have every right. He actually does. 
kind of have the legal right. Yeah. Right? Do you have genuine style? Uh, I, who knows? <laughs> right now, she has a genuine problem. Yeah, she does. This dress is good for you. It's genius, Salette. I was thinking a little more. Yeah, see? Why is there no color in here? Don't be a kiss ass. Ah, here we go. The one thing with color. Yep. There we go, yeah. You are sure of your choice. We'll see. Yeah, I do have to say, if you're going to make choices, make them the, your own. Don't decide I'm going to do this because I think this other person will or won't like it. Oh, yeah, no. Nah. Uh, oh, boy. Okay, yeah. well, here is the, the moment where she Not this call, it's shows us who she is. Yeah. More specifically, like the last one. Hello. You can play off. Yeah, it's intentional, but this is a... Uh, mm, being out to get somebody. He's perfect. <sighs> She sees her as competition, mm. and she should. She's good at what she does. True story. Is there a problem? What happens when you come across fierce competition is that either you be better or you fail. Mm. Trying to sabotage others is not good. Yeah. Okay, get up here. This is the bridesmaid's dress. Uh-huh. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they happy? She. I don't like it. I do not like it. Puzzly, okay? What's in that bag? Yeah, what? That's just a dress that Alette chose for me. Mom, can you go get a cupcake? Uh -huh. Yeah. Alette gets an incredible discount. You're still going to Shopaholics Anonymous? Yes! No. No. She shouldn't go with those. Yeah, no shit. Are you going to the Shopaholics meeting? Do me a favor and stow these in your trunk. Oh, yes. Doesn't look good entering a self help shop and go carrying Barney's bag. Oh, my God. <laughs> Leave it to me. Okay. My name is Miss Corch. I am your new group leader. Yep. Uh, Whoops. Uh, Why not try giving away the things you don't need? I really need those things. Uh, yeah. Do you, though? Colorful. This is my bridesmaid's dress. This is going to Goodwill? How many of us have used that one before? If they think she's lying. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately. That <laughs> Wasn't that liberating? No. No. I mean, it should be, but she is not there yet. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn, shook her around like a fucking doll. The dresses I gave in. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a mistake. No returns. I could bring back something else tomorrow, something better. Dude. Uh, no exchanges. I'll buy him. <laughs> if it's my best friend's fucking wedding? 110. What? Then yeah. <laughs> I'm getting it yeah. back. I don't have enough for both. This one's 20. Oh. Uh, which is more important. Yeah. Dude. Okay. I, I know what she did, but dude. Yeah. The girl in the green scarf, Rebecca Blue. Yeah, Rebecca. Of all of the people to screw over. Could Ooh. have made some excuse for why she wasn't wearing the dress they picked out. Yeah. It got broken. It got damaged. Anything. Yeah. Anything. Because so much financial journalism is... It's really, really boring. Yeah. Yeah. But it's ordinary people that have the most money and savings. It's people like my mom and dad. Really? You know the amount of people I know who don't have savings at all? <laughs> yeah. It's actually the most valuable commodity in America. Trust. Oh. Oh. Okay. We want to get some questions from the audience. Yes, you, sir. Well, oh, uh, boy. I'm having trouble with debt. Yeah, hey, Derek. <laughs> Not his debt. <laughs> yeah. Miss Bloomwood's debt. Oh, Very man. specific. I'm from the All City mm -hmm. Debt Collection Agency. My name is Derek Smith. Yep. Yeah. This man has been stalking Rebecca. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yeah. <laughs> I love that he's like, whoa. Mm. Store card totaling $9,412. Wait, wait, this is for nine grand? Yeah. He is her ex boyfriend. No. Oh my god. Oh man. Derek. Oh man. Derek's face. Oh no. The more you look at me, the funnier that gets. <laughs> wow. He can really cop that on the shin though. <laughs> my ex girlfriend told me she couldn't meet me today with an infection she picked up in Finland. Oh god. I I know he's kind of supposed to be the mm. bad guy-ish, but mm. damn, he's good. Is he the bad guy, though? Yeah. Is he? Is he doing anything wrong, <laughs> technically? He is currently in the hospital with depression. Oh. Yeah. Recovering from chemical fruit acid. Called back for second tour of duty in Basra. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Uh, how do you recover from this? You don't. <laughs> Will the real Rebecca Bloomwood please stand up? <laughs> oh, dun, God. Dun. Dun, 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 dun. Look, you don't understand. Mm. No, you're right. I don't. No. Yeah, because of that, you don't know if anything she told him is true. I shop. Oh, so you lie because you shop. Why do you shop? You're an addict. Come on. Well, you're not giving me time. You have a problem. But time for what? To make something up? Actually, yeah. She wants time to make something up. Yeah. When I shop, the world gets better. No. Because you have some unresolved yeah. issues from childhood that you haven't properly addressed and you've used shopping as a coping mechanism. And then it's not anymore. And I need to do it again. It's just like any addiction. Yeah, You're just much. using it to run away from your problems. It's a result of something else every time. Mm -hmm. What about honesty? 
credibility. Nah, she ain't got none of that. Mm -hmm. I only took the job to get to Roulette. Ooh. Yeah. Say I'm sorry. Yeah. No? Oh, you're not sorry. Right. Uh, I guess sorry. there's that. She's sorry. I think it just doesn't really matter at this point. Luke, I'm so sorry. No, no. There you go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, cool. The whole thing was a lie. Mm. Yes, that's exactly no, what happened. So he thinks that her feelings for him were also a lie. Yeah, which is, I'll be honest with you, if I was him, I wouldn't really oh, care yeah. if she was lying or not. Yeah, no, it, it kind of doesn't matter either way. Everything else is a bit of an issue. I mean, like, he also just got embarrassed on national television. Oh, yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah and Perfect she timing. has the dress. Is she wearing my bridesmaid's dress? Yeah, she is. In all fairness, I think she'll enjoy it more. Yes. <laughs> I can absolutely Explain. Yeah, no, you you can't. Yeah, you can't write that one off, man. You can apologize and try to make amends, and that's about it. Mm. Explain. There is nothing you can say that makes this okay. Yeah, you screwed your friend. Yeah, real bad. Well, it's not even necessarily about how bad. It's just you disrespected mm, her. Yeah, it's one of the most important days of your life. You know, yeah. Mr. Brandon allowed his objectivity to lapse. Well, even yeah, fucking Luke is getting screwed out of his job. <laughs> yep, I would assume that. Luke here is a little shattered. Mm -hmm. Rebecca was the most vivacious, inspiring woman, mm. and she lived a lie. It's true. Uh, yeah. I like that he's owning both parts of it. Absolutely. He's sad because he knows who she could be. Yeah. But all of those lies. Mm. Yeah. What she wrote in her columns, truth. Yeah, he sees both sides. Yes. Yeah. She spoke to people, and I loved it. That's fair. That she did. Yeah. It's great that she managed to find a boss who was looking to be... Rebecca, let me down. Progressive? The girl in the green sky. Never did. Yeah. If Luke and his attitude aren't fitting in, there's really only ever one solution. Getting fired. Or promoted? Getting promoted. Yeah. Get promoted. Start a new magazine. There we go. Okay. They're an empire. Mm. Driven purely by the voices of its writers. Okay. I feel like yeah. this doesn't really happen very often. Yeah, it sounds a little too good to be true. You have drive, Mr. Brandon, and vision. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be tough going. That's the way Cy and I built this company. Yeah, none for you. On the day that we put that sign. Taking risks, yeah. I get it. Yeah. We knew that we'd made the right decision. So here's to our new venture. This is him realizing that he's doing that thing. Yeah. Again. I can't believe I'm going to kill her. <laughs> she got in his head. Yeah. When you put that sign above the door, you wanted to make your name in the world, didn't you? Or more than anything else. Damn right. Yeah. <sighs> so do I. So do I. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you got to do your own thing. Exactly. I mean, that's what we're doing. Precisely. Yeah. <laughs> anything else, and you will ultimately be working for somebody else. That's fine mm. if you want to. Anything financially for... Do you think it's too late for this? Yes. Oh, <laughs> wow. Is she a kid? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> okay. I don't want I don't want to think about that too much. Brings up way too many other questions. Sure. Reminds us of our childhood in Finland. Uh-huh. Oh, right. Yeah. That's the obsession with Finland. She has the heritage. She just never learnt the language. Mm. If the American economy, billions in debt and still survive, so can you. Yeah. Is it? I guess it is surviving, mm. technically. Yeah, survival's a pretty broad definition. Mm. The RV is worth about 13. No. Aww. I'll kill you if you sell it. That's right. Fair. Yeah, you cannot sell that. Completely defines you. Okay, no, not that. But like, you know, they worked their whole lives to have the vacation. Nothing defines me except you and your mother. But the good thing is that she doesn't want them to, unlike before. Sure. They're I, making the decision themselves. That only changes so much for me. I know. Because she's not digging herself out of this situation. What way can you? Yeah, a lot of struggle. Yeah. It's going to be fucking it's, it's hard. something that we would not be able to fit into the span of this movie. <laughs> I know, and I, I, I do get that. It's just, look, how many people actually have the opportunity to get bailed out? Yeah. Realistically, people, mm. you need to learn how to take care of your shit. Yeah, it is a privilege. Yeah, absolutely. Like, if I got myself into this kind of shit, you know what would happen? Mm. Consequences. Yeah. There's no backup plan. No, yeah, exactly. No, no one's waiting for me to pay them back. Yeah. <laughs> Precisely. Don't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure they do an all right job in showing that. Okay. Precisely. Owning up to it. Mm -hmm. Addressing the consequences. So she really did it. And it all worked. Mm, yeah, apparently. What do you mean? Alette Naylor is going to give her the one thing that she wants most. <laughs> okay, yeah. And now I am stuck with her. She didn't seem this angry before. Yeah. She hides it well. Yeah. Ah, thank you. 
Thank you. Oh, man. Oh, shout it, Jenna. That Hawaiian shirt over the long sleeve. Mm. No, they're not from Indiana. They're from England. <laughs> oh, God. I went to see Mr. West to petition for clemency. He gave. Yeah, time to leave, Dad. Mm -hmm. And is Luke Brandon okay? Unfortunately, Monsieur Brandon. Oh, yeah, Mum in the background. Yeah. <laughs> he's no longer with Dante West. But he landed on his feet. Yes. He eels. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't resist. I'm sorry. Your appearance on that TV show struck a nerve with many girls. Yeah, and yeah. you want that exposure. Many, many girls have a lot of fucking debt. Many <laughs> people have a lot of debt. Yeah. Your column will be affordable fashion. Hmm. 500 words once a month. Yeah. Uh, However. 500 words once a month? Mm -hmm. That's nothing. I can do affordable fashion. I mean, I know we're all the sales. You got that for me? No, no. Did you though? Don't say that. She doesn't want to know yeah. that. <laughs> I'm not associated with you. <laughs> I did it, I did it. Oh, cake. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Oh, oh tiny. not tiny. <laughs> tiny. <laughs> yeah. The razor focus. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> piece of cake so small you could put it in a sandwich instead of a slice of something else. Could you? <laughs> Look at that Wait, thing. Is that, it's like is, the size of a pickle. Did that exist? <laughs> you take pieces from your own wardrobe. Okay. Like this. They're Louboutin, so. Yeah. Well, they're not affordable fashion. Not mm. at all. No. Fear not. Chialette, we print the prices very small. Yeah, see? Yeah. That's scummy. Mm. And after all, what are credit cards for? Huh? Uh, yeah, so she wants yeah. her to do the thing that she got in trouble for in the exactly. first place. Exactly, and here's the learning moment. Woo! <laughs> I know all about credit cards. Which they pull off really well. Final notices and debt collectors. Yeah, it's good to see her learning well, that she's learnt. Yeah, exactly. At this point. I find it funny that she wouldn't think that she would not want to take the job because of that. Mm. <laughs> if you want to work for my magazine. I know, no, I really, I want to work at a lead. What's the matter, baby? My conscience is talking to her. Yeah, morals. <laughs> That's what's the matter. Yeah. You want to do something, but sort of feel like you shouldn't? That's it. I get heartburn. <laughs> he gets heartburn. <laughs> That's but weird. That's a different problem. I feel like you're just not eating enough lettuce, man. Just go to the doctor, okay? <laughs> no, for real. G salad. Okay, yeah, fair. I've made so many mistakes. When I leave this house, the opportunity live with me. Uh, <laughs> the opportunity. Well, then you should both go. You're Sherman. Can't you finance this yourself? No, his mum will. I'm asking if I am a good investment. Yeah. He's trying to regain his confidence in himself. Yeah. Well, I can understand. His whole thing yeah. is like, no, I am going to be my own person. Very respectable. All right, people, this is it. Anybody who cries will have to cut two. Oh. I mean, should they not be allowed to be a little upset? As yeah. long as they're doing it. Yeah, I know, right? Shed all the tears you need. Mm. I'm a shopaholic. She could finally admit it. I destroyed my career on national television. Lied to the men I love. Yep. Yeah. I hurt my best friend. Yeah. I invented a stalker and I don't even speak Finnish. You didn't invent a stalker. You just claimed a real person doing their job as a stalker. Yes, exactly. Which is worse. Yeah, <laughs> somehow. <laughs> but I have a plan. I need your help. I love how on board they all were to do this part, though. Uh, this is going to be great. Sale of the century. Wait. Forward to our employees. Nice. Yeah. Good work, bro. I know. This guy's amazing. He's like, what, two, three appearances? Yeah, and they're Fantastic. just fucking epic every time. <laughs> Uh, oh, moving up in the big leagues, mate. Mm -hmm. Got that bare wall look. Mm. You think that we can't afford to furnish it, but actually it was a choice. <laughs> yeah. He's just hip, man. Yeah. May I take a long lunch? What are you doing? I have an appointment. Oh, yeah. With whom? Person. Mm, with fashion. <laughs> Say a doctor. Doctor fashion. Yeah. <laughs> an appointment with a green scarf lady. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose she has to uh, clear the decks. It's a woman with an emerald cravat. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Yeah. No, you don't get to take it. I mean, can't you just print out another one? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is a new business. We can't afford that much ink. Uh. Yes! Ready! Accessory! Yeah, ready! It's like a whole store's worth of There's stuff. So much stuff. Like, I know earlier you were like, yeah, she has a whole store's worth of stuff. I'm like, yeah. She does. No, she really does. Yeah. Look at Nancy out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Open the door! Oh my god, John, get out of the way! Yeah. <laughs> Don't get trampled, man. Yeah. yeah, there you go. They'll kill you. Yeah. <laughs> he just quickly bails. Yes, now we offload the results of your habits onto all these women's habits. Mm -hmm. $30 is my final offer. I give you $30 to get away from my table. Fair yeah. enough. Time waster. What about your mother? What would she like? So bright. Shit. These are real Prada shoes. They go with the same pink as the scarf and the handbag. Yeah, don't, I don't think they should have trusted her. Hey, stop collecting stuff. Miss Patsinski! 
Oh, that's go. good. <laughs> Thank you, Ida. And now. Much appreciated. She's strict but fair. Yes. She's funny because she's a complete fucking menace in the owl house. Yeah, <laughs> fair Ada. Becca always had such fabulous taste. No wonder she wound up at a This is the one thing where I'm like, ah, oh, you can keep that. Yeah, right? Just one thing. She turned that opportunity down. She literally said that opportunity? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> $50! Anyone else? Bitch, come on. <laughs> 70. I have 70. 90 dollars. We can ruin all these people's finances. That's fine. Totally fine. 200 dollars. Yeah. yeah. You keep one thing. Mum's got the right idea. For sentimental reasons. Exactly. 250. The bid is against you at 250. 300 dollars. <gasps> Wait, is that Dakota Johnson? I am not sure. Tell your friend on the phone. I'll match anything they bid. This blonde girl here. I, I, I'm like, I know her? Yeah, she does look kind of familiar. But I am wondering if it just, her outfit and look is just reminding me of Elle Woods. My bitter withdraws. So! I think you just really want to see Elle Woods. Yeah. Which I'd be I cool do. with. You know. Wait! Yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh. It's okay. No, uh, punch her out. <laughs> <laughs> One last fight over clothing. Eliminate the competition. Don't wear it with yellow. Never. Fair enough. She would never desecrate it like that. Oh, proud parents. Yeah. Her parents are actually really yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> They're cool. I like know that. that they were unwittingly the result of her problem. Some. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, the cause somewhat. Part. <laughs> you know, part of it. Because society. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, society. Mm. 16,500. You are a winner, man. <laughs> Nice. Hey. Clear enough that debt and then some. Yeah, okay, this part. Y you'll find this interesting. Okay. Wait, why is everyone looking at him like that? <sighs> Take a guess. <laughs> I mean, Smith may have been um, somewhat unpleasant, but he was just doing his job. Ah! Oh, Surprise. Uh, no. Yeah, the debt. What the hell is this? I'm doing exactly what you did to me, giving you what you deserve. So you spent a year making this man chase you around for his money. Well, not his money. The money that you owe. Yes. That's his job. Yeah. 9,412 and a quarter. Yeah, he didn't harass you. Yeah. You avoided him until he had no choice but to track you down. Yeah, and confront you on national television. Like, yeah. that was his comeuppance moment to you yeah. for all the shit you put him through. Yeah, he might be an asshole. He might even be a terrible person. However. But what you did mm. was still wrong? Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, he did seem pretty unpleasant. He, However. He deserves to cop it for other things. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, not from you. <laughs> yeah. How'd you get it back? I did a deal. Oh, that's sweet. Mm, I know. It's, it somewhat feels a little late. Get her some flowers. To me, I feel, well, not like too late, but I feel like she should have got the dress earlier. Yeah, they should have had this makeup a little more fleshed out. Bax! I just want it like at least a day before the wedding. Yeah, not something. Not on the wedding. Like she's got enough stress on her shoulders. Exactly. Is what I'm saying. They should have been able to talk it out and have her friends supporting her. Mm, oh God, and those wholesome ruffles, way. the color ruffles. Yeah, we're just not going to talk about that because mm. I can't deal. I try to stay open-minded about these <laughs> kinds of things, but uh, some things that just test me, you know? Mm. <laughs> I like color, but when you wear too many of them together, it's not always yeah, great. Yeah, it's about, it's coordination. It's yeah. about coordination. So tempting. But we cannot. We must wear the ugly dress <laughs> with the ugly bag. <laughs> well, for the moment. I'm calling it what it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, she only has to go home and change. Yeah, true. Right? Man, the effects on those mannequins are so good, though. Surprisingly, right? It's such a good combination, I imagine, of VFX and live action. Probably. That, yeah, it just looks seamless. Yeah. Such a nice little learning moment. And then, applause. <laughs> <laughs> you did it, girl. You did it. But, I mean, it, it's great. Great, you know, showing how she's actually stoked with herself for doing the thing. Yes. I have self-control. Yeah, because these mannequins are a manifestation of her subconscious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope. No, 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 they're, they're real. Oh, God. <laughs> Surprise. You sold all your clothes and kept that. <laughs> well... <laughs> It wasn't a choice. Yeah, it was someone's choice. Mm. Someone needs to be held accountable. <laughs> Susan's wedding. wedding. I'm an investigative journalist, Rebecca. Give me some credit. No. Nah. <laughs> I don't wanna. <laughs> you really sold it all? I wouldn't put it like that. Yeah, who would sell literally everything? That's not smart. Right? <gasps> Surprise! Motherfucker bought it at the auction. He was the one behind the phone, right? The bidder on the phone was you. Yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. Bidder on the phone. But? But you lost. Wait. 
Yeah. Yeah. Both better than me. Yeah, that's son of a bitch. Yep. <laughs> is what you are. Play this like a fucking fiddle. It's desperately important, Scott. I'm confused, though. Like, why do you have to bid against yourself? Are you just trying to make it look good? I don't know. I think. Maybe no one else was bidding. He also just wanted to, like, donate as much as possible. <laughs> like, after those first two <laughs> yeah, bids, know, it right? was just him. He was just like, shit, 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 <laughs> shit. It was so fucking expensive. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's sweet. And I really liked him. I know, right? Mm. He's actually such a solid love interest. But I also like that they show, it's not like she doesn't like shopping or clothes anymore. Yeah. Period. Yeah. She's just got a better handle on it. It's just about understanding when you should and shouldn't spend money. Rebecca Bloomwood. I am a columnist for Luke's new magazine. Exactly. See? She's still got style. She's still got a flair. Dress borrowed from Suze. I'm a reformed shopaholic. Yeah, fair. It is amazing what you have time to do when you're not shopping. Yeah. I actually learned finish. Oh, good on you. Oh, that... Yeah, see, that feels like a bit of just a touch of an overstep. Like, yeah. come on, man. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to. I can see why she did, though. <laughs> sure. I have a relationship with someone who loves me back. Where did you get your moves? It comes naturally. Oh, yeah? That's so? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Fucking brilliant. You're right. It's a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <sighs> Okay. And that's it. Yeah. That's the movie. We're going to end on that. John Goodman spinning around on his back was a perfect way to end this movie. It truly was. It makes yeah. sense to me. Overall, I enjoyed it. It was like, obviously it was tough to get through the earlier portions when oh, she's yeah. making so many bad decisions, but it's the point. Yeah, that's that, the point. That's the point of the movie. Yeah. No, you know. I think this movie does such a good job of showing growth, mm. showing, you know, like how you really can pull yourself out of the shit. Yeah. Uh, because especially something like this, it only works in a movie context because in real life, she's an addict. Yeah. They're all addicts. They have a serious problem that yeah. will absolutely ruin their lives. It gets out of control and they don't seek help. So it's kind of yeah. like, this is the only way you could tell this kind of story in this comedic sort of light. Yeah. You I know? appreciate it in that sense. And look, I can say a thing or two about addiction and I, yeah. I like that they took this route with it, even though that happy ending is yeah, hard. It's possible. It happens. Hey, sometimes you got to see that it can happen. It does happen, of course, but it, you know, it is a lifelong thing that you deal with. No, absolutely. You know, when you, you quit a thing, it's mm. always a temptation. I like to think that that's what the like the red shoes and the mm. mannequin winking at it yeah, was that's, supposed yeah. to be. Sure, that's it's always going to be there, but it's it's man. We can manage mm. it. You know, we well, can we can take steps. <laughs> and it's just about every individual decision every time the temptation comes up you just got to decide no you know you gotta find something else you gotta find another avenue if you can find a better way that's exactly good. yeah i really appreciate the love interest for this movie so much yeah he's good quality and he had his own arc yeah. he had his own yeah. backstory he had more fleshing out than so many other rom-coms do where they just have a one-dimensional character who's nice yeah. but they're just there for eye candy mostly yeah you know <laughs> and while i do think this guy was good looking i don't think that was his primary trait no he had a very much had a personality and while he was not combative towards mm. her it wasn't those stupid bickering couple kind of tropes yeah he did disagree with and challenge her in many ways yeah, and it wasn't a pushover yeah anyway. and, that, and that really worked for yeah. both of them they both grew because of their interactions with each other and that is what a healthy relationship looks like yeah, that's actually true. Like a really good quality relationship is one where you grow together. Exactly. You support each other's growth. Precisely. That's a fantastic message for this movie. It's a good time all around. You been with Sam? Steph? And we're, we're the, the movie, movie buds. buds.